have no idea when the stream actually goes live. Again, something I should have really learned from when I um, started streaming. But nevertheless, I could be live, I really don't know. Really don't know. But if I am live, welcome to the um, season 6 finale. What's up, Nate? Welcome to the stream. People getting in early, love to see it. But yes, this is, this is, wow, this is the season 6 finale. I think this will be the first full season I've done on stream. But since streaming, I've done a season and a half, and it's been like a month. A month, so yeah. Oh, it's pretty good. What's up, Charlie? Welcome to the stream. Um, yes, if you're watching on YouTube afterwards, then it's going to be a <clears throat> potentially long stream. Uh, we only have um, four games remaining. I know it says three here. But we have the uh, Champions League final against Atletico Madrid. And then my aim is to start off the next season as well. And focus on trying to sell players. That is the plan. I'm not going to exit my career mode. Uh, I'm not being to stream for about three episodes. No problem, Nate. I'll explain what happened. What's up, Ben? You've been out all morning. So basically, Nate, what's happened is we've got to the Champions League final. Actually, I'm going to quickly just do a bit of a recap. I forgot to do this recently. But just in case you watch on YouTube afterwards, um, then uh, yeah, we've done quite a bit this season. So we started off... I'm going to go back to the, after the transfer window closed. So the transfer window, we made our business, did our business. You know, we, we did pretty well. Then we uh, beat Stoke 3-0. We beat Man City 2-1. Beat Bayern 5-2. Drew against Chelsea 1-1 in the Premier League. Then lost against Derby 2-1. That was a simulated match. Drew against Bayern 1-1, but got through anyway. And before that, we beat Liverpool 3-0. Then we drew against Swansea 4-4 in one of the best games I think I've played in terms of goals. And uh, against Poland and Sweden in the European qualifiers, the Euros, we uh, drew both games 1-1. Beat Wolves 1-0. This was the game set again a bit nervy for us. Then in April, we lost against Everton 2-0, lost against Brighton 1-0, both played games. Drew against Milan, last-minute goal for them, got them back on level terms. Beat Arsenal 2-1, then went on to beat Milan 1-0. Then we beat Leicester 1-0. Lost against West Ham at 1-0. Then in May, recently, we had the Champions League semi-final. Where we played at Chelsea, 1-2-1 in the first leg. Drew against Burnley, in between. And then beat Chelsea 3-0 in the second leg. Although, to be fair, two of them goals were in the last 10 minutes when Chelsea went ultra-attacking. So, yes, what's up VXR Joe? What's up Sam, or Blocky? Table, yeah, I'm going to show you the table just after this. Yeah, uh, currently... Three games left in the Premier League, all away games, and technically the Champions League final is going to be technically at home. So, you know, that's that. Um, and the Premier League table is currently looking like this. We basically need a point. We get a point and we have won the Premier League. Uh, beginning of the season, I was thinking 100 points, and now it's looking like 88 points is the maximum. Still a good total to potentially have. Uh, Wolves are officially relegated. I think Leicester are almost officially relegated as well. If Watford get a point, then Leicester are definitely down. But at the moment, they can still get back with goal difference. And Burnley need basically a miracle. They need Watford to lose and then them to win. And then Burnley to outdo Watford in the next two games. So we could help them out. Have I seen the journey trailing? No, I have not. What's up, Massimo oh, Massimo Leonardo? What's up, Christopher Sanchez? Welcome to the stream, people. Uh, I've not seen the Journey trailer. To be honest, I do play the Journey. I might actually stream the Journey for FIFA 19. But a Journey is one of the things that I don't really... Um, I don't really care for that much. Like, I'll play it, I'll experience it, I'll get the trophies. And I'll move on. But that'll be more of like a relaxing thing I do. So yeah, is that the closest you've got to winning the Champions League? This is the closest I've got in FIFA 18. Yes, with Wigan anyway. I've won the Champions League with Chelsea like twice in a row. And uh, yeah, but with Wigan, this is the closest I've got. I think my history in the Champions League has been for the three seasons I've been in it. Next game, second, first, first. Uh, my first season in the Champions League, I got, I think, to the quarterfinals. Second season, round of 16 against Real Madrid. And this season, final, no, against, um, against good old Atletico Madrid. So we're still playing a European side, not an English side, which is kind of good. 
but um, yes, if you haven't already, and again, I'm gonna, I apologize for somewhat spamming this, but um, if you haven't voted on my FIFA 19 potential career mode, then uh, there is a link. Click on the straw poll thing, go over there and vote for the team you want me to do. I think at the moment Everton is winning, I believe, and whichever team gets the most votes, I will do, even if it's by one vote. But what I'll do is, if it's like level at the end of like a, well, in maybe three weeks time if it's level, or two weeks time, I'll do another poll and um, just do it between the top two sides. I think at the moment there's one team like Newcastle has no votes. But yeah, if you want to vote for something, that is how you can do it. But for now, we're going to into this first game and because I've technically won the league, I'm going to go ahead and just use my second team plus my first team is kind of tired. What I'm going to do is actually use my second team for this match against Palace. Uh, do like a rotated first team for Watford and then play my best team against Spurs and then my best team against Atletico Madrid. Just to make sure. But um, yeah, I've also created another squad, my youth squad, so to speak. We have people like um, Tumanen in there, Hatunen, Renich, you know, just our, our definite youngsters. So... I'm not going to use that squad, I'm going to use this squad, the second team, because we haven't won the league yet. We need to beat Palace, who are in 8th place. Palace having a pretty good season, to be fair to them. Uh, Melbourne victory to the FFA Cup. Okay, then it's sick. I do like playing it when it first comes out, but after that, I don't really care. Yeah, the journey is one of them. I think a lot of people do the same. I don't think I've ever gone through and replayed the journey, if that makes sense. I'm going to play the final on this stream, yes I am. I'm going to do a potential three hour stream today, because why not? Uh, you know, spend a bit of time on these games. Start the next season off, and that usually takes about ten minutes to load the new season, especially when you get this late on. And then I'll uh, do the first month. So I won't do any competitive games in season seven, but I will do the pre-season tournament. Might play one game in there just for like the... Just for jokes, I might even play my youth squad and play all the matches, depending on how long we've got. But, um, yeah. Into this match against Palace at Selhurst Park. Gene is moist. And by the way, people, if you didn't know, Gene actually did his first YouTube stream yesterday with West Ham. If you haven't checked him out, go to his channel, subscribe to him. I believe he'll be streaming again today. Not sure what time, but you know, you'll see it when it happens if you've subscribed to him and click on the bell for him. I you know what? it was a pretty good stream for his first stream, pretty good, and if you like me, in terms of my voice and shit, you'll like Gene, he's from the same neck of the woods, and what that means is he's from a similar area to me. Yeah, another streamer though, but if we win this match, we win the Premier League. I think my volume is slightly turned down, no it's not, it's still loud. The fuck? That was a quick intro, yeah. and right, uh, very quickly. Here is the Crystal Palace side. I don't know why I'm doing weird accents. They've got Jabba the Hutt up front, Ikone, Baker, Cosiello, Cicerete, Taglifico, Mustafi, I'm not sure who that is, maybe Caricio, Van Beek, Calab Calabria, ooh, and Ulrich in goal, Sven or Sebastian Ulrich. But as playing against Palace, you know, I've, I'm, I'm looking to win this match. Obviously, I want to get myself in a good bit of form before I play at Atletico. Uh, last episodes have been shaky to say the least. And when I say shaky, I mean not really been putting teams away. The biggest victory I've had recently was Chelsea, and that was because they went ultra attacking at the end. Because they had to. So, you know, a bit shaky to say the least. And maybe. Shit like that. Ulrich, Ulrich. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Yeah, that's her keeper. He's a pretty good keeper, actually. If it's the one I'm thinking of. How did Erbe not finish that, though? That's what I'm kind of annoyed about. So Erbe is doing okay winning the ball back. See, I've got a lot of um, people I am scouting at the moment. Some really good youngsters. Oh, ne never mind. Erbe has just knocked himself a goal. What's up, Azra and Peter? Welcome to the stream. You're doing Everton career where I've done all the transfers. Nice one, dude. Let me know how that one goes. Let me know how that one goes. Uh, stream on Friday. Will I stream on Friday? Yes. I'm going to stream... Honestly, I woke up this morning, I thought it was Thursday. I don't know why. But I am going to stream tomorrow, I am going to stream Friday. I'm not sure how my internet is going at the moment, because since I've been streaming, I can't play pro clubs. Literally, I get, I start pro clubs, and 
every like three minutes in game time I get the little connection issue thing and then the game like stops then jumps forward so when you're playing pro clubs and you're running down the wing not that good to see when you're trying to cross a ball in it is creature as well I was right uh, Wolves are winning FIFA 19 next career mode by a landslide are they? I thought it was Everton damn oh well I mean again I don't really care who it is I'll do it, I'll do it, whoever it is. And if it is Wolves, it's Wolves. Then I get to do like, um, you know, I might do some Portuguese things. I think the biggest aim with the uh, that one would be to sign some of the best Portuguese players. Like Ronaldo and all that stuff. Maybe, um, you know, stuff like that. That'll be the plan anyway. Mitchell gets knocked off the ball. Back through to Herbe, and again. Oof. You won't be on at the start, okay then. No problem, um... But Azure and Peter, I think Azure and Peter has some of the best shoutouts for signing players. He really does. So credit to him. Did you see that block? Did you see that block? That is one of the best blocks ever. It's handball, but I don't have them turned on, but that is amazing. So fair play to that guy. When your head where it hurts, I like it. Brave defending. Okay, we won that ball back, but he somehow gets it. Akime again just doing the little dangly leg. Moses covering at left back is actually not a bad option. Because Manny's a defender by trade. He's marking him. Wow, that came off the net in a weird fashion. Going to watch Warrior versus Panthers that day. No problem. No problem. Oh, Gene will be, uh, Gene will be streaming about 7 pm UK time. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I should be able to watch that. Although it depends on what happens with me making food. Because recently I've been making food at weird times. Like one day I'm having my like tea so to speak or dinner whatever people call it. The main meal of the day I've been having it at like 4 o'clock-ish. And other days I'm having it at like half past 9 at night. I don't know what's wrong with me. Very weird. I have no eating, I have no eating schedule which is very weird to say. Oh my... I don't know how I've got that, but he did. Then S it. Oh, too much power. <clears throat> Lost by one point last Sunday. Damn, dude. Uh, Chaplin isn't starting this match. I'm resting him. Resting him for this one. He might play the next one, and he'll play against Atletico and all that. Top of the table in the league. And quite fan of the FA Cup. That rage yesterday. Rage yesterday. I raged a lot yesterday, so I can't really remember that much. That's one thing you don't really notice, because when I um, did normal FIFA 18 videos, obviously you didn't notice when I raged, cause, but I did rage a lot, but obviously I cut it out for the sake of good content. I kept some raging, obviously. How quick are Palace, by the way? It's kind of annoying how quick they are. But I rage quite a bit at career mode, which is weird considering it's an offline game mode, but damn, this game annoys me at times. Especially when my players do stupid shit like that, like don't run properly. They clear a gap and they just run into the the empty bad space, basically. Alright then. Like that one there. I tried to pass it there, beer. Motherfucker won't pass. Well, alright. I think my Discord bot is finally looking, saying I'm streaming live. Seriously, I hate that Discord thing. If you don't know I mean I have a, I have a Discord. If you don't know who Discord is, well, if you don't know who Discord is, wow. If you don't know what Discord is, it is a uh, group chat app, basically. It's free. You can get it on your phones. You can use it in browser. Scratch my nose. Oh, terrible. And, uh, yeah, crew did lose 6 now. Imagine Chaplin gets injured for two months in the first 10 minutes of the Champions League final. Christopher, why say that? Why say that, Christopher? That's mean. But yeah, if you don't know, if you want to join my Discord, there it is. Uh, basically, I just, you know, I chat with my, um, with some of my subs and friends. Subs become friends, friends become subs. I mean, you know, we just chat, take the piss. Nice, fun, relaxing thing to be in. If you want to join it, you can. It's free and all that stuff. And uh, when you level up in the Discord, you get, you get called sad awesome what's up thomas welcome to the stream uh thomas your fault 
all your fault, Thomas. I was looking away, looking at the chat, and I almost gave away the ball. I didn't. But, you know, almost. This team doesn't have much pace on it, which is weird. I said this team, my second team. Got Ives in there, but Ives better as a sub. I want to give him more game time to keep him happy. Mitchell's just shit. Won 6 nil earlier this month. Yeah, but I think the crew chairman or something is refunding the fans who went because of how embarrassing the team performed, which I think is awesome. I think it would be better if they actually docked players' wages or, like, the players paid the role. Like basically, the players refunded them. That would be pretty cool if they did that. Because that will make you not want to play bad again. It's like, you play bad, you've lost out on, like, £3,000 a week each or something. I mean, to them, it's nothing. Although, crew, not a massively rich club. Well, that'll make you learn, won't it? That should be part of a contract. Like, if you lose, like, if you get beat by a certain margin and you get humiliated, you lose some of your wages. Like, it's like if you do bad at work, you lose wages. 2 0. Boom. I'm thinking, what could happen? I don't want it to happen. All right, good, good. I better say, Christopher, if you wanted it to happen, then... Oh. What's up, Tim? Welcome at Tools of Stream. Hopefully your vacation's going well. I know you've... Why, well, you're back Saturday, I think you were? So then people who have been missing Tim streams might be streaming again. Definitely next week. But maybe, um, maybe this weekend. Who knows? I don't know when he's back officially. I'm not going to speak on his behalf. But yes, he's currently on a vac vacation holiday for English people. Although I don't know why we, have, why we have different words for that shit. It's just we're dumb. Like it, it literally means the same thing. But we just call it different things because we're absolute arseholes. Erbe, no support, reel it. Maybe Mitchell, no. That was a terrible pass to him. Moses in a bad position. I'll still try it. Ah, I tried too much. And Dan Burns not going to lose that header, is he? It's one thing that Dan Burns has been good for when he's come back. The height. Uh, the fact you spend about 60% of my games yesterday trying to get the ball. Yeah, good point. No, no you spent 10% getting fouled and the referee not calling it, which was weird, Gene. And then you spent about 60% winning the ball back and then the game's like, no. And the other percent of the time you spent kind of getting good chances and not, like, either they're getting saved and every shot you faced went in, which I hate in FIFA. You subbed to Tim's channel, well done Thomas. Not like that, that came off very patronising, not well done, but yeah, good, honestly, you'll enjoy it. Tim's got a very, very good stream going on with Motherwell at the moment. And he's also a very good streamer, relaxed, chilled out. He has some very, like, in this chat we get a few occasions where things go a bit wrong. But Tim usually gets drunk people. You know what I say, usually, like, pretty much every stream there's a drunk person in Tim's channel. So, you know, that's pretty good. But yeah, you like it in Tim's channel. He takes suggestions well. He's a good YouTuber. Doesn't take any shit as well, which is good. He's got people who have ban hammers. So if you talk shit about the MLS or certain teams, you will get banned. Not permanently, but, you know, temporarily. Timed out. I think I've timed out one person for self-promoting. Ah, a fellow. No, get get off. Ah, good ball through. Dan Burns not the quickest, not gonna reach him. Ball in. Neimanen. Nermanen. Damn it. So many people like literally I have so many Finnish people who have the same name. Kind of weird. Oh shit. I'm surprised if he's onside. He actually is onside. Back free to him. Du 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 Big Dumos. Oh shit. Uh blocky set of season two, nice one. Uh, got P2 fine, P2T P2 on final game of Saturday. Okay then. How tall is he? Tim? He's, um... Very tall. Oh, it's Dan Byrne. Dan Byrne's six foot six, I believe. Tim's also about six foot four, I think, so yeah. You know, you've got tall people all around you. That's a foul. Referee's not going to call it. Sweet. Clerk Salter should win that. Never mind. I mean, seriously, what else do we have to do to tackle you? Why did my guy give up? Luke Burke give up then. Uh, La Famille Harrick is not is not happy. 
Have you thumbs down the stream or are you just not happy? Let me know, let me know, explain yourself. Uh, wasn't India people killing season one? Timmy streaming on Sunday. Yeah, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know what's up, Gene. You know what's up. There's also a guy called Flames who sometimes gets drunk and starts talking the most weird shit, but it is funny. Funny and strange, which is pretty much what FIFA streaming is. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Boom. Well, again, are you disliking it because I'm beating Palace? Maybe that's why. I'm trying to figure things out as I go. Dink. Oh, shit. Gilby's not got a bad shot on him. Oh, it's not good either. Six foot six, he's tall. He wins every header. Yeah, Dan Byrne wins every header. I think one person might have beat him in the air once. And that was like the strangest occurrence ever in my career mode. Seriously, I didn't like it. Get out of the way. Move, Gilby. Oh, oh that's a foul on Baker. That is a proper foul. Lewis Baker, rate him very highly. Hopefully he gets a chance at Chelsea, but I know Chelsea's youth system. I mean, I say I know it. I mean, like, in the past, like, ten years, it's been shit. I know it won't happen. I know it won't happen. So, love the ball through to Harrison Mitchell. Can you make it three? Oh, my God, not with a save like that. Uh, I'm a very tall midget. Gene, 5'8". Yeah, it's not bad. That one guy is weird as hell. He is. I'm a very small, tall guy. Six foot, six foot's average height. I'm about six foot. Maybe just a bit smaller, tiny bit, but I make up for it in our soulness. Not sure if that makes sense, but screw it. That was a mad ball, by the way, by Gilby. Just insane. I'm 13 years old. My, oh, my 13 year old brother at the same height as me, and I'm 19. Six foot five, Tim. Damn. You're. Brother's a freak, no offence. If he's six foot at 13, then fuck. He'll be taller than most people at his school. But people are getting taller though, which happens. Now, fuck off. Oh, lovely little flick inside, not even mad, not even mad. Oh, no, I'm mad, that was bad defending. Weird defending, very weird. Oof, who did I pass to? Okay, Clark Salter. You want to go for a run forward, mate? Why not? You're my centre back, but screw it. Oh, that's why you don't run forward for, because you're my centre back. I'm not sure if the stream's just jumping around. What's for a second? Ah, Tim, I get you, I get you. Making some subs actually. Uh, did you watch Swansea Leeds? I did not actually watch that match. I had it on um, score alert and I did read through a bit of the commentary. Looked like a very interesting match. I'm actually going to bring on Grig. Feel bad for him. Give him a chance. And Book. I'm going to give Renich another game out at right back. I want to play him a lot more often. QPR going down. Yeah, pretty much. You're like 5'11, 5'12. Fair enough. So that Lafemil Harrick is like 5 or 6. Fair enough. Uh, Gamer Indoor, hey bro, how are you? I am good. The most recent before this, I, YT Hershey, Christ, I don't remember him. That sounds wrong though, out of context. I get my first year of five year olds, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I'm 22, fuck yeah. Okay, great, anyway, it's just wrong. Unless you're five years old. If you're five years old, you have a five year old girlfriend or boyfriend. I mean, it's still weird, but yeah, it's fair. But 22, fuck off. Don't talk about that shit in match yet. Even though I'm the one who started talking about it. Weird. Gone on a weird tangent. Let's just start playing FIFA. You know. Yeah, anyway. Moses. I'm going to whip that in. Ibe. Oh, what a sif. What's up, Merc? Welcome to the stream. Champions. Champ 13 ins. Someone I know is 16 and 6 foot 7. Fucking freak. If he doesn't play basketball, he can fuck off. Because the amount of people I know who wish they could be that tall and play basketball, me included, is like, no. When you try and play basketball at six foot tall, it's not very good. You kind of struggle a bit. Clock's also. Oh my god, Grig. I think Grig felled him to get that. Idiot. That's weird. I said pass first time, he took a touch. Dan Burns running, apparently. You'll get there. Look at Dan Burns, how slow he is. But he got there, eventually. He got there. 
Marcus Renich for the silver boots. Grig, my God, Grig passing to Mords and all that. Very weird to see. Well, Grig, he isn't on fire. Christopher Sanchez, six foot nine. Damn, three peak champions. Oh yeah, two right, two right. He does cross country and is very good. Doesn't have time for basketball. I'm sorry if you're six foot fucking seven or six foot nine or something. You play basketball. Don't give a shit who you are. You play basketball. I mean, like you've been given a gift by nature and science. Well, by parents really, but fucking use it. Like if you got a fucking big dick, you do porn. Clear as day. Just say. The rules that I've made up, but you know, rules nevertheless. Grig, I know you're running through, mate, but you're not very open. What was that pass? I never actually won it back somehow. I want to give Grig a goal. I feel bad for him. Keep trying. Snapshot, corner ball, corner ball. 5 8. Basketball is team of sport, love basketball. Love it. Very weird though, growing up in in England, like when I was like what, like ten years ago, starting to like basketball. Very rare that a lot of people played it. Obviously, it's mainly football, bit of rugby, and by the way, we've won the Premier League. We are three peats. Damn. He obviously owns a milk factory, Mark, legend. We're gonna have the latest program as Dan Burn has Superman on the front. Fair enough. You want eight nil? Eight nil, Mark. Damn. Wow, Dustfurt, you got it wrong. You forgot your own thing. You said the snag had returned when you're the wang. Dude, you let yourself down. Feel ashamed. Yeah. You wanted eight, Merc. I only give you two. I can't remember how many goals I scored then. Yeah, we won the Premier League now. I might even just play some youth players for these next few games, actually, because I wasn't expecting to win this match. I really wasn't. Liverpool won 2 0. City won 4-0 against Burnley, they're pretty much relegated, but Spurs, they beat Leicester 4-0. Damn, Man City basically relegating Burnley though. Dustbert, you're the weirdest person ever. Dustbert, I don't know, it's weird. Everyone leaves the stream, what do you mean? Oh, when he appears, yeah. Wow, it's taking a long time to load that then. Uh, so we've won the Premier League, we've got an 8 point gap still on Spurs with only 6 points remaining. Uh, the next game is against Watford and obviously Spurs themselves. So that's good. Watford are in 17th place. We can actually help out Burnley. Although Watford do have another game in hand. Why, did Watford, why have Watford and West Ham only played 35 games? And Man U. And Derby. What the hell is going on? Seriously, like some teams have played 37. Some have played 36. Some have played 35. It's fucked up. So how are Watford going to play? I don't get it. I don't get it unless Watford are going to play today. But I don't know. Um, right, I'm going to change up training eventually. I'm going to get my youth players who are in the main team to like at least 70. Be a lesser down. You said no negativity. I know. Who said no negativity? Oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah, fuck negativity. Who cares? <clears throat> We're winning. We've won the league. Burn on the way out? Potentially, yes. Jack Burn is on the way out. Been a captain for a while, but we need to improve the squad. Swansea 35. Swansea, yeah. Wow, so there's like four teams on 35 games played. That makes no sense. They played a game now, though. Right, so let's just see the updated one. So technically, Man U can still get second. If I beat Spurs, that is, and they win their next match. So if Man United win their next two matches and I beat Spurs, Man United can go second. So that's something. I don't like Man United, though. Wolves are down, Leicester are down. Burnley, I believe, are pretty much down. If Watford get a point out of us, then they stay up. But if we beat Watford by a few goals, it gives Burnley a bit of a chance. Only a small chance, but a chance nevertheless. And uh, you see Swansea are sixth. That's fair play Swansea, actually. Had a really good season. Still could creep into that top four. Chelsea have kind of slipped up massively. Fifth place for Chelsea, four points. So Chelsea can't get Champions League. Swansea technically still can if West Ham lose all their games. But wow, that's messed up. But there's a top six anyway. That top six won't change. 
Swansea, Chelsea, West Ham, Man U, Spurs, Wigan. I could sim. Only in Discord, yeah. I could sim these matches, but because it kind of means something to the table, I might just play them with my youth squad. Plus, then if I do sim these matches, then... You know, it kind of... I only have all that. Well, if I show you the calendar mark, then you'll see that I've got two games left. Watford and Spurs, and then I've got Atletico Madrid in the Champions League final. So what I'm going to do is, because I've only got three games left and it's only been half an hour of the stream, I'll play these next two matches, definitely, then play the Champions League final. That should take me to about two hours in the stream, potentially give or take a few minutes. And then what I'll do is, I'll just go ahead and... Um, Start the next season off, do a few transfers to start it off, and then end it there. So, yeah, I want to get myself ready, up and going. So, we'll play this match against Watford using our youth side. I'm good, Zebras. <coughs> <coughs> Apparently, I'm, I'm not going to show you Swansea's team. I think I've shown you Swansea's team about 100 times now, so no more for Swansea. But yeah, I'm good, Zebras. How are you? Not seen you for a while. Hopefully, everything's going good. Uh, this is the team I'm playing, by the way, and it might look a bit weird. We've got Williams up front. He's um, 18 years old, a striker. How tall is he? 5 foot 6, so no crosses. 5 foot 5 for my uh, central attacking mid. Candero Nacho, you know, 5 foot 10 quality player. Sullivan, 5 foot 8. Got White in the middle, 5 foot 8. Turner's 5 foot 9. Wow, I've got a very small team. But then my back four, pretty tall. 6 foot 2, 6 foot, 6 foot 6, and 5 11. But he's a left back slash right back, so and we've got a pretty small team out there. But, anyway, it should do the job. I'm going to put Bamet on the bench for this one. Uh, I'm also going to put... Yeah, I don't want to risk any big players. Maybe Gilby for Burn. Moses will put on for Schlup. Give him a last hurrah. I will rest him for Grants. Actually, no, Mass... <coughs> Sorry, Sam, my throat is really fucked still. I'm not coughing anymore, but it's just very... Um, bleh. And any central attacking midfielders I can play... Maybe Vidal Pereira? Yeah, Vidal Pereira will get a go on the bench. Get Jose and Neyaz. Been busy with work? No problem, dude. No problem. You don't have to worry about missing any streams. Just obviously want to make sure everything's good with you. Boom. I do hate Pavard, Christopher Sanchez. You are right. I don't know why I hate Pavard. He just, he's like had like three or four games for me and not done anything major he's made like one or two okay tackles but compared to people like joe gomez who scored that bicycle kick is a quality defender for Sumenza, the best defender i've ever had on a, any career mode nothing much but yeah let's go playing a youth side for this one. Oh my god they are so small look at the tiny people look at how small he is tiny White's not played since, I think, first season. And he actually was approached by Watford. By the way, Watford side, just in case you are curious. Uh, Hernandez. Is that Javier Hernandez? Will Hughes? Success. Mares. Mare. Mare. Chalaber. Rodriguez. Ribeiro. Kathka. Segura. Felquia. And Blasvich. Looks like a pretty good side. Looks like a pretty good side. This guy hasn't been... Wanting his knife really quickly. You make knives. Typical Aussie. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Sorry, that's terrible. You would tap Mourinho and think about bringing Zidane in. I can see it going from bad to worst. He's never lasted three seasons. Everywhere else in top four is a level above us. But uh, it's not. Ben, welcome to the stream. Unless you've been here before and I've missed it. But um, talking about Mourinho. Actually, quick mention of Mourinho. People in chat, what do you think about Mourinho? If you're an Arted fan, a former Chelsea fan, a fan of football, whatever. What do you all think of Mourinho? Think he's a good manager? <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> Seriously. Do you think he's a good manager? Do you think he's just um, been a bit unlucky in United? Do you think he's not been given the support by the, uh, the board and stuff? What do you think? What do you think? Then once you guys give your opinions, I'll give mine. As a, f as a Chelsea fan... I know a lot of sour Chelsea fans who don't like Mourinho. I am not one of them. Inside. Oh, I was very lucky, but also at the same time, very bad. 
very weird playing there's like a side that's all between like 60 and 70 overall when I'm so used to playing as a team who's like 80 to 85 so John Perez getting across don't get there he's shite haha uh -huh, bye 17 lol playing CS go alright how about you say <laughs> oh shit terrible pass oh my god mark up people Wow, job. Uh, I'm going to read a chat. I'm going to get paid for playing CSGO. See you, mate. You can get paid. You don't get paid for playing CSGO. Don't lie to yourself. 17th, how have I? He's shite. So Nate don't like him. Chris Sanchez don't like him. Oh, you was the first one here, Ben. Damn, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Tim loves him at United. He's doing such a great job. Has that got to do with the fact that he lost against Brighton? United lost against one of the worst teams ever in the Premier League. What a derby. Didn't play younger players enough. Yeah, fair enough. So I, it seems to be the majority opinion on Mourinho is that nobody likes him. Oof, that one. Jeans mentioned he doesn't play younger players, doesn't like his style. So that's interesting to get people's opinions. It seems that the only person who really likes him is Tim, and that's because he's a Liverpool fan and Mourinho's in charge of United. And yeah, let's leave it at that. <laughs> Just say bye, Blasvich. Derby. Edward Badman, I remember you, I believe. I think I remember you. I remember you now because you're the guy who said, Do you remember me? Oh, trick to the keeper. Um. Yeah, Derby were by far the worst side in the Premier League ever. Like, they got the lowest point total, and Mourinho was not in charge of United then. Uh, maybe not even Chelsea, I don't think. I could be wrong about that one. I was younger when that happened, and I had more important things to worry about. Like, my Gisha Heat. Good goal. Damn it, I deserve that. Um, Mourinho should be good, very decent, he could have a bit more money. That was a good goal by Kucho. Pavelka, I'm kind of surprised I got beat by that ang from that angle, though, to be fair. Like, I stuck on him well. To get a beat from that angle, you've got to question the keeper. And would sack Woodward Mourinho his last hit. Mourinho's lost his magic. You're a City fan, Christopher, damn. So, my opinion on Mourinho is that he's still a good manager. I don't have any problem with that. I think he's just... He's fell out of love with football. The press, the media, everything about it. It just made him give up on the game. Because, let's face it, the media just don't give an actual shit about the people. Like, the players, the coaches their actual lives they care about making the stories getting their money cashing their checks that's all they care about and to be honest it is vulture like but um i, I, I rate Mourinho. he did so much for chelsea and people forget about that especially chelsea fans were saying oh you shit manager it's like yeah but he did so much for us he basically made us into a guaranteed top four side if we don't finish there then we're kind of shit oh what a finish Damn. 11 points, yeah. Damn, Derby were bad. But I think it's Woodward. I mean, I, people are saying that Mourinho's a shit manager <clears throat> and all this stuff, but since Fergie left, you've had Moyes, I think, um, what's his name? Uh, not, oh, Louis Van Hurl. Louis Van Gaal, Van Hurl. And you've won nothing with them, yet, well, pretty much nothing. Mourinho comes in, at least he's won something like the Europa League. That's a goal. Oh, damn it, good too. The way they why Klopp be saying the wall, off the wall shit, yeah. <laughs> Need you start becoming a shitty fan last season. Ooh, Ben with the shoot. Yeah, I think Mourinho is massively underrated. I just think he doesn't he doesn't give a shit anymore. That's his problem. But again, it's a problem that many people would have if they've been in the game for as long as he had and had to deal with as much shit as he has. What a space of Dominic White. What a save. Same with Pep now. I don't like Pep. For me, like that's an overrated manager. I mean, Mourinho's done it with Porto, not just the league, but the Champions League, done it with Chelsea. He's done it with, you know, teams like that. Guardiola's Barcelona. Oof. Bayern, Man City, the teams who have had the most money in them leagues. 
He's not really inherited a bad team that to like, improve it. Like the worst team he inherited was Man City, which is like, it's like saying, "Oh, I only got given a million pounds instead of one point three. Mm. I mean, it's like that's the kind of level of complaining that he can have. I'm not saying he's not a good manager tactically, but when you've got the money at your disposal and the literal <laughs> never having a challenge in your life, then yeah, it's not hard. Not hard. I mean, he's probably good at managing big player egos, but that's about it. I mean, I'd rather have Mourinho managing a team, like building a team, because I know that Pep would just, he would just, like, he needs to buy the best players and that's it. But yeah, that's my opinion on Pep and Mourinho. I do like Mourinho, I think he just fell out of love with the game. I can never forget what he did for Chelsea, never forget it. Man's a legend in Chelsea's, well, in, it should be a legend in Chelsea's eyes, but... We fucking sacked him twice, yet people are still complaining. It's like, he never wanted to leave, I don't think. He just got sacked twice, so fuck off. But yeah. Chris Sanchez saying, what? Oh shit, I need to pause and rechat one second, guys. It's not like I said, I don't blame Mourinho at all. Something I tried to do, yeah. <laughs> Mourinho was good at Chelsea, he's still good, but right now he's not good. Not good at the moment, yeah, but again, he's not been given the backing. Pep's not good at it, I think... Yeah, if Jose leaves the Premier League and goes to like Portugal again, he'll be fine. Or maybe a team like somewhere in Italy, I think, but the press doesn't seem that bad. I think that'll be better for him. Never like Pep and you're a Bayern fan. Thank you very much, Tim. You're a legend. Uh, Pep is the greatest manager ever, better than Wenger. I mean, no, he's not. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Pep's not the greatest manager ever. Greatest manager ever, Claudio Ranieri. Tried winning the Premier League with Leicester. He has. Legend. Um... Greatest manager ever, you're forgetting Fergie. Fergie probably was the greatest manager ever, just because of... Again, I know he had a lot of money and backing by the board, but he did it consistently. Not many managers have done that. But yeah, Gradiol is not the greatest manager ever. You put me in charge of West Ham, you see how well he does. I think you'll see then just how average he actually is. Plus, it's, again, it's all like... Everyone says the managers are great. It's all, it's all down to the players. Like, tactics or not... You can't win a season with shit players. You can't win a Premier League based on tactics. You can win a Premier League on good players coming good and scoring goals. For example, Jamie Verdi, Mares, Cancer, Drinkwater, all had fantastic seasons. Not because of the tactics by Ranieri, but because they had a good season. Because they were in the prime, so to speak, and they did good. Dink. What a save. Straight at him, but still a good save. This youth side's not done too bad, to be fair to him. Pepe's the best in tactics. What tactics does he have? High press. That's not a tactic. That's just a way of playing football. Nah, I don't, I don't think... I don't like Pepe as a manager. Tim, not a bad shoot. Yeah, but I don't think the fucking... I, I don't rate Guardiola. I mean, did he actually win the Champions League with Bayern Munich? He didn't, did he? He's not won the Champions League yet with City. I know it's a bit too early, but again, he hasn't won it yet. He has not won the Champions League, I don't think, with Bayern. I think he went it with Barcelona, but I'm not sure how many times. I can't remember. But he's... Um, to go to Bayern Munich and not win the Champions League, or at least do well in it, pretty disappointing. But the players he had, like the great team, to not do well in the Champions League... I mean, like, I know, no offence to Liverpool, but Liverpool, their team's cheaper, wasn't as good last season, dominated City. What are my thoughts on QPR right now? They got the wrong manager and they're going to go down. And I won't give a shit if they did. I love Ian Holloway. Ian Holloway, for me, would, I would love him at Wigan. If Paul Cook ever left for a bigger job, that's a goal. Oh, good save. If Paul Cook ever left, uh, ever left for a bigger job, then, you know, we had to bring in a manager. I would take Ian Holloway any day of the week. Because Ian Holloway is a legend. Just such a funny manager. Curves about the club. He's at. Just give him time. So yeah, I like... I liked QPR last season. This season, couldn't give two shits. Steve McLaren in charge. I don't know how he still gets jobs in football. Man is an absolute joke. But he gets jobs. Don't know how. He manages... He must have something on a lot of, like, owners of clubs, like... 
some bad pictures or some like offensive tweets and all that shit. He must have some shit stocked up. He must do. One two at Bursa. And again. Me. The series of City when they lost to Wigan, he wasn't in the mood. It's a loss that happens. I know. Again, when he loses games, especially when he lost against like Wigan, he tried to blame so much. It was like, no, you didn't score on the day. Wigan got the goal. Yeah, it was a def it was a defensive mistake by Carl Walker, but you know he didn't score a goal, so nothing. You know, it didn't mean shit. The referee didn't make any bad decisions. The sending off was a sending off. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> Again, Guardiola. Does, he's he's not a good loser. I suppose it happens when you're playing for teams that don't lose because. I thought you'd get a penalty then. Ooh, sorry guys, but I'm going to leave the stream. Kingly Piper, no problem. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. I'm not saying this in offensively, but I didn't know he was here. Yeah, but no problem, dude. No problem. Kingly Piper, you don't have to apologise for leaving a stream. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It's up to you. If you don't like a stream, leave the dislike button and uh, carry on. Obviously, I'm happy that you've interacted with chat, but yeah. No problems. I don't hold it against you. I don't, I'm not going to call you an arsehole or a dick. People have different opinions and you're allowed to have them. Unless it's about Guardiola or Gabriel Jesus, in which case you're wrong, Lee. I'm sure. Not about Jesus, though. Gabriel Jesus, overrated cunt. Hate him. Right. Oh, that's a nice pass, Williams. That's going to stay in. And Neyaz. Get the. No, difficult. Use Manchester United or I will leave. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I mean, I don't... wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Hold on a minute. You saw the stream name. And I will read it to you in a second once I just confirm the stream is called what it is. That's a fellow. Uno secondo. FIFA 18 Wigan Career Mode. FIFA 18 Wigan Career Mode. Episode 75 Season 6 Finale. If you don't lose, if you don't use Man United, I will leave. What do you think I'm fucking doing? It's a Wigan career mode. Like, if you like, no. If you said, if you don't use this player, I will leave, it'll make a bit of sense. But you're not making sense. I have a feeling you're a very young United fan. Jack Ping, what's up, dude? You leave the stream about halfway before 75% of the time. Because you get bored. Well, obviously, you are a very boring person. Just saying, just saying. If my entertainment value is top, top, top of the... Nah, but I, I usually just watch streams till the end. Like, if I start watching a stream I like, I have to watch it till the end. Even if I don't interact in chat, I'm there. I don't know, I just like... Even if you put it on in the background, it's like, it's something. Hatunan, I rate you so much. Love this guy. Journeyman on FIFA 19. I could do, I was thinking about that, and I might do that as part of the... um. The third career mode I do. Tumanen, you're like the new Dan Burn. I love it. I like this Tumanen guy, I really do. Man's got like skill and techers and not a bad shot. You managed to stay today. Well, I'm proud of you. You have a very short attention span. Yeah, I mean, technically I'm not halfway through the stream yet because I'm planning on doing three hours, so you've got a long road ahead. Right, Hatunan, even though I love you to bits, I'm going to bring you off because you're knackered. Uh, let's bring on... Let's give Schlup a last hurrah. And let's also give Grig another match. Manchester United will be a much better career mode. How would United be a better career mode if we don't have to one season? Oh look, I'm United. Oh look, I won the Champions League. Right, I'm done. See you later. Good boy. I don't like... I'm guessing... I'm guessing... You're a United fan. Um, whatever your name is. I've got your name already. Kingley. So if you're a United fan and you want to watch United career mode, I'm pretty sure... I mean, I'm going to go on a... I'll have a guess. There is somebody streaming a United career mode somewhere out there. See, I can't do big team career modes. Like... I might be doing Chelsea next season if people vote for it. Purely because I support Chelsea and somebody mentioned it. That is it. 
But if I don't do it, I don't do it. Because big teams for me, you, you kind of like, it's too easy. Dink. Well, Griggs not on fire. I think you started a terrible team. You started a bad team, you go on a journey career mode and try and do stuff like that. Or you start as a team that's in League 1, League 2 and work your way up. Maybe a championship side to do like a quick intro career mode. But all these big YouTubers do like uh, some Liverpool, sometimes Chelsea. It's like, yeah, you're not really challenging yourself, so fuck off. In a nice way, obviously. Oh, but I'll bring him. Well, he's on the pitch. I want to get Grigg a goal. Screw you. I mean... Any United Crane mod, would you see Will Grigg trying to get a goal in the last few minutes against Watford? I don't think you would. Turner, the centre back, who's, yeah, probably should play centre back, but he's a bit too small for my liking. I'm going to train him up to be a CDM. Two minutes. Bad idea. Man up in the middle. Oh, good block. There's about, yeah, there's about 10,000 United Korean modes out there. 100% right, Tim. And again, if you're going to come into a stream that says in the title that it's a career mode for a specific team, then, like, no. Don't ask to play as a different team. If it was a journeyman career mode, it'd be like, oh, can you try and sign for United? You know what? That's a first shoot. I'll let you off slightly. I'll still say no, but I'll let you off with it. Can Turner get a goal? Nope. You only seen one Wigan career mode and one Motherwell career mode. Boom, me and Tim, right there. With the unique career mode. Again, I don't like buying world class players for a season. That's why I try and avoid big clubs. I mean, if I do Wolves, I'll have a bit of a budget. It'll still take me a couple of seasons to get where I want to get, but with the first season of Wolves, depending on how difficult it actually is, I still would try and. Um, you know, I'll start what am I, what am I, what am I on about? What am I talking about? Words, help. I don't know why we're going to celebrate every time. We actually played well. For a 1 1 draw, my youth side that's, you know, 60 to 70 rated, a few 80s in there, like Pavel Kren, Candero, and Nacho. I'm happy with that. See you, Sam. You are by far the most strangest person ever when it comes to leaving a stream. And I'm saying this in a nice way. It's like you say something, it's like, do this, bye. What the fuck? Like, you like, your buys come out of nowhere. It's like, oh, yeah, do this, bye. I'm gone. See you. But you've seen about one Wigan career mode and half of a Motherwell career mode. Play a kickoff match using United. Dude, are you dumb? How old are you, Kingley? Seriously, this is like a question. I, I always ask this, or oh, Jean de Platovic. I don't know why I scared him for. A suggestion. The game is not crucial to our season, Elenia. Are you dumb? We've won the Premier League. It's not crucial. I'm not going to play you. We've won the Premier League. Actually, I'm so tempted to sim this game now just to piss him off. In a journeyman career mode, where would you start? You have to start at a big club, for me. If you're, if you're in a journeyman career mode, you've got to start at like a relatively big club. So like, um, maybe Atletico Madrid. Maybe like, you know, not the best team. So not Bayern Munich, not Juventus, not Man City, not Barca or Real Madrid. You've got to start at the side that is like 4th to 10th. So like Everton, Newcastle, stuff like that. If you play just one match with United, I will subscribe. But I don't give two shits. No. <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm not going to play a match with United just to make you happy. If that, uh, if you, again, if you're going to start spamming, you get blocked. <laughs> like, listen to the words coming out of my mouth. I'm not going to play a kickoff match as United. Gene is right. I don't care if you sub or not. If you don't want to watch my content and don't subscribe, fair enough. I don't really care. You can, you can't. It's up to you. Yeah, just a Euro or global journey. Yeah, you don't do like um. You can always do like an Australian one, which the I heard this thing about FIFA is getting the job offers. That is the hardest thing, which I, I hope they can fix. Like it's like, oh, you got this job offer from Pookie Pookie Land. I don't fucking know. Pookie Pookie, that's a fucking monster hunter. Madness. But Kinglet, if I, I don't care. I mean, look, United beat Derby 3 1. Look. Oh, I played that match. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I just scored three goals at United. Oh, I conceded last minute. Herp, 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 herp. There you go. I played against United for you. Well, I played with United, sorry. There you go. Whoa, you have to subscribe now. You said it, bitch. 
If you don't play one match of United, you will lose a subscriber and a viewer. Oh, no. What a shame. I'm going to lose a viewer that doesn't give a shit and a subscriber that's not actually subscribed. No, oh, no, guys. I'm going to have to play United now. I'm going to have to do it. The man says so. The man is in control of my stream. I must do what he says. Get fucked. No. <laughs> I might have seen this game against Spurs. I really don't care about it. I want to get into the next season. But again, it's Spurs, and I want to prove a point. I don't know what to do. Do you know what? For shits and giggles, I'm going to sim with my third team. Fuck it. Boom. Tim on point. All the YouTubers know what's up. Oh, again, it's a, oh, it's a darn shame. I'm going to have to play as United now. Wow, we conceded in the first minute. Second, sorry, the second minute. I can't read. I'm going to skip forward at the 37th minute. Random time. Boom. Wow, we lost 3-0. Is that it? You suck, Spurs. Increase with a hat trick. Fair play, mate. We still won the Premier League, so fuck off. Well, no, no. Like, you know, he's not even going to unsubscribe. That's a problem. He's not even subscribed in the first place. So, play Spurs. You hate my sarcasm? Oh, fiddlesticks. You hate my sarcasm, herper derp. I don't care. <laughs> Simple as that, I don't care. Uh, Chaplin, you've missed three games. Mmm, dickhead. I will definitely know not... I definitely know won't sub. Ah, shit. I don't care if you don't sub or not. Again, I don't really care if people sub or not in general, but I don't really care if you specifically can't sub Kingly because you've been an arsehole, so I don't care. That Players United. No, it's a Wigan career mode. Are you dumb? Players United. No, it's a Wigan career mode. If you don't play United, I'm not going to subscribe. <laughs> Look, my dummy. I spat it out because I'm a putty. You can't, yeah. He defiantly not subscribing, yes. It's ruined my day, this. Honestly, oh, I've seriously been, it's ruined my day. Like, honestly, what am I going to do? Like, I've got a Champions League final with, with um, Atletico Madrid coming up. Like, I've got a biggest game of the season, biggest game of the career mode, but I've not played as United and I've lost a sub that's not even subbed yet. What do I do? I'm going to write down all his youth players' names, by the way, because if not, they're all going to leave. So we've got, um,. Zhang Su Shang. Who knows, these guys might go to United and might take control of United after that. Just to be a prick. Min Sik Son. You don't like my sarcasm. Apparently you don't like my stream, so fuck off. Renato. Didn't this Renato Pereira guy just join? I fucking hate that. They just, like, they join the youth squad and it's like, play me. No, I'm leaving. Jander Platovic, I can't spell his fucking name. I'm surprised if he's still here. Need a ban hammer. Ooh, I'm tempted. No, I like it though. I'm going to give him a chance. Yeah, cheer me up. I'm not getting one subscriber. He's actually leaving. Hope you feel like an idiot. I mean, constantly, but. I always feel like an idiot. Why? What's different? Something changed. I feel like an idiot on a daily basis, so one little five-year-old kid's not going to change that. <laughs> Ooh, I like this guy. How much wages you? Expensive bastard. I'm just going like, these players, by the way, some of just random players from random countries. I mean, this guy would be shit, but he's from a country that I've never heard, well, I've never seen in the game before. Got some Nigerian youngsters, some Jamaican youngsters, some, um, what's the word? Oh my god, where is he from? Ghana? Kenya? I can't remember. I've got to say, I've got some young Jamaicans. Young French guy. I'm not sure where he's from, but I scouted him. Why did I scout him for? Oh, what am I doing? Anyway, so we've got £173 million. Let's check these profit margins now. That's what's more important. 
Du, 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 du. Oh. Now, Tim, <clears throat> look at those profits. That's what you call profit. So, there as well, £239.52 million pound profit for winning the Premier League, basically. And my earnings have now, prize money, gone to £212 million. Pounds. Bye, Rashford. Rashford. Sorry you're late, Jordan. No problem, dude. Yeah, but then profits, Tim. Rashford, cheap, young, best striker. Are you dumb? Right, okay, then. I, I want to prove a point there. I want to kind of... I, feel, I don't feel bad for this kid, but I want to prove a point. Rashford, cheap, young, striker. 25 years old, left midfielder. £64 million. Pound. Cheap, young, striker. No, he's not. Sign a player from Bangladesh. Ooh, Adnan Asif, that's a very good show. Rashford from United. No, no, the other Rashford. Fucking dick boy Rashford from fucking Swindon. No, the Rashford. I said, I'll let him have his phone for a bit. I'll let him speak for a bit more. Oh my god, more youth players want out because FIFA is logical. Literally, I wrote down all these players' names. If they leave my youth squad, I'm just going to sign them afterwards. So, fuck them. Sign a player from Bangladesh. Do you know what? I'm actually going to look for Bangladesh. But is it, is it called Bangladeshi? Am I just saying something completely stupid and wrong? Bangladeshi? He's in my ears in. Oh, man has no words. Um, transfer, such players. I'm actually going to see if there's any, are there any, are there any Bangladesh players? Let's find out. That is the most weird badge ever. It's literally just an off-centre red circle in a green background. I like it. Are there any Bangladeshi players? Nope, there's no Bangladeshi players. I'm in the Scottish Premiership doing the best I can. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry. I have to, I have to just... Boost my ego after that disappointment of that guy not subscribing. You know, I've got to make myself feel better. So, sorry, Tim. Sorry. Final score report on this guy, if I can't pronounce the name of, or Quanko, I believe, Orgy. His name's Orgy. Damn. Ah, oh, I thought he'd better than that. I had high hopes of him. But that jumping's weak. The strength is weak. The agility's not quite there. His mental stats are shocking. No wonder Juventus are trying to sell him. Yeah, nah. Oh, Messi, just no pace. It's just gone. He's got nine Merkin. He's almost got minus in Merkin. That's how bad he's gone. That's shocking, that. <sighs> in before I lose the Champions League final. Guarantee it. I guarantee I'm going to lose the Champions League final. Another you've played one tonight, I'm guaranteed. Oh, wow, the Jander Platavi is actually left. Holy shit. So then, quick little experiment. I'm going to search for him. Tim, I thought I will lose to United. I almost got a draw. To be fair, you deserve to win from that match. United had two shots on target and scored them both. That was horrific. Not the... Damn it. Xander. So if he cancelled his contract, has he just gone out of the system? I'll keep an eye on him. I'll try and find him again later down the line. I thought that when youth players left, they actually went somewhere. Who will? Got Fizz, you see, if he leaves, I'm not really bothered. Huang, he can leave. Lance Moore, me. Her turtle again. Yankovic ain't bad. Nikolic, not great. Mason Green, not great. Min Six on is good, but we have no room in our squad. So we can't get him. Su Shang, also good. Grabowski, very good. Well, seems to be very good. Herrera looks good as a youngster from Brazil, but then we've got also got Adam Chuck. Hope I do lose for not using United. Wigan sucks. Yes, I'm in a Champions League final. I suck massive wee wee. Da -ba. Uh, let's train Renic up a bit more. I do like Renic. I want to give him a chance before I do like you know not long left of this fucking career mode. I've got to start training him a bit more. No. Gino, oh, what's up? Joker. <laughs> Joker, you motherfucker. <clears throat> Panama, check in with me. Boom, transfers, search, Panama. Uh, 
Nah, leave it, Tim. It's fine. It's fine. We know what's up with him. He's having a bad day. No, Nate, let him stay. It's funny. Plus, he keeps if he keeps chatting and watching, it gets me more watch time, so... I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Uh, right, we've got a, quite a few Panamayan players. Panaman? Panamayan? Panama. Alright, we'll go for him. Uh, ooh, Transville listed. Ooh. Aguirre, German Aguirre, Cox, Cox, Cummings. Really? Cox and Cummings right next to each other? Okay, okay. Miller Murillo. Michael Murillo. That's a Wolfsburger. Not Wolfsburg, Wolfsburger. Wow. Not a large selection of players. Anyway, right. Gotta keep moving. I'm gonna get this final youth skirt report in. Before we get this game against Atletico. More youth players leaving. Yep, Renato Pereira has also left. And so has Nikolic. He never mentioned he wanted to go. I mean, I can't do anything anyway, so this is literally, like, what? Fuck off, I can't do anything about it, so get fucked. Adnan Asifa, subscribe. Thank you very much, dude. You're making the pain of having that guy not subscribe feel better. Thank you very much. Oh, my God, United won FA Cup. I, I know, I, damn it, Joker, I should have been him. Min six songs gone. That's a pain. I like him. Left. I hope his players go back in the system. If not, I'm really pissed off. Uh, press conference, yeah, whatever. Screw it. Joker, man. You're having a fucking good mo- You can't be drunk so far, so you're in a good mood, I can assume. More players leaving the youth squad? Yep. Tom Fish. Okay, then, so that's very interesting. So, Tom Fish is also gone. So, that's five youth players who have all left in the space of a week's time. He says, look, I'm not yet sure which club lured him away from our youth setup, but I'll look into it. I'll look into this matter and get the facts. You never come back with anything. NLCB, yeah, I hope he does go. Oh my girl, Bags. Man, you won the FA Cup. I know it's insane. Have you seen that prank call? Have you seen that prank call where he says there is a new cider called Dickens? What's up, Tomahawk, dude? Very happy chap here. Uh, Cavalero, he's a good backup, but yeah, I, I don't, he's in the shortlist. If it comes to it, I can always get him. And Boateng and Sommer, I believe, are retiring next season. I, I could be wrong about that, I don't know. Any more youth players want to leave? I've got two more that might leave. I'm going to predict them. Gilles Hurtado and Zhong Su Shang. I've got a feeling them two might leave. If they do, then fair play to them. Welcome to the stream, Tomahawk. You can try Rakitic, Leno, Cerny. I don't think I can afford them yet, but maybe in the future. Right, I've got some scary reports back. just want to see if anyone's left. No one's left yet, sweet. Right, thanks, boss, Akima. Thanks for putting me back in the team. I don't mind missing the occasional game, but I really need to play. You played, like, three games, I think. Whatever. Uh, do, do, do you see the Rev? Good video posting back to the server on Discord. Watching two streams at once. Fair play to you, right. Okay then, so Kazankov, I'm not sure where he was from. He's from the, wherever the fuck that is. Uh, but he's not that good. He's poo poo, so yeah, he's gone. His EQ, I thought would be better than that. Stick to one's not bad, but nah. Kakuba? Whoa, oh, fuck off. Let's just uh, mute my computer now. Spawn speakers. Really? You're not letting me mute him? Ah, my PC is deciding to be stupid as fuck. Do I have to minimise something? What the fuck's going on? Well, I can't minimise that shit. Fuck it. That will happen every so often. Computer being low. Kakuba? Nope. Deshaun Brown? No. Giovanni Smith? No. Maya Leader? Maybe potential backup next season. Shortlisted. Dunkley? 68 overall? Meh. 23 grand a week, I'll shot. I, I might bring him back. I thought you were looked so much better than that, but you're crap, so I said no. Promise. Not bad. I'll shortlist him. Maybe. Potential future signing. Lovely Tomah. Dickens Sider. What's up, fuck off? 
Again, every time I see your name, every time. It's like, hello, fuck off. Right, um, Kwiatkowski, that potential is not good enough, so goodbye. Ooh, Piotrowski looks pretty good. Dabrowski looks okay. Kwiatkowski, another one. Well, Victor, Victor or Vic Victor, I don't know. Grabowski, noob. Oh my god. Holy shit. Joseph no Novak. 84 to 94 potential. Get in my youth academy. Joseph Viskorek. Get in my youth academy. I'll leave Piotrowski. Mazzo. They'll get scouted further. Pretty good players, eh? What's up, Angry Birds? <clears throat> Play for Real Madrid or you're unsubscribing and leaving. Damn, dude. Two in one stream. <laughs> Any FIFA 19 news from Gamescom? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. He had a little peony. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Sam. Uh, I don't think any FIFA 19, any FIFA 19 news, though. That I, that I know of, anyway. Alright, Cruz is a no. Also a no for Igor Cardoso. Bruno Ferreira looks very, very good. I mean, for that overall, and he's already worth half a million pound, sign him up. Branco, probably not going to be that good. I'll keep him Silvera. And Conchechao? I didn't even check him first. Looks pretty good. Keeps getting him. Who knows? Stream FIFA 97. Damn, dude. Back in town. <laughs> and the final one. Oh my god, Scotland. There's so many players. Right, so I'm going to go through the list very quickly. Ian Murray? Nope. Uh, Campbell? Nah, you're not going to be that good. Arthur Clark I'll keep an eye on. Robertson's gone. McNeil I'll keep an eye on. Smith just dropped off too much. Nicholson's a no... Mitchell, keep an eye on. McKeith, great name, but nope. I'll just do it, nope. And Logan Mitchell, no. Keep an eye on these guys and carry on. 29.7 is better. It's completely 5D. Two rat. 2,000.9797. I'm a Jehovah's Witness. My name is Grandmaster Sam. D really? Alright, Tim. Enjoy your sleep. And again, enjoy your vacation. Knocks at the door. Hello, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. God, we've got so distracted in chat. When I say we've got distracted, you guys have got distracted. Come on, guys, focus. We've got games to play, apparently. Damn, you're both right-wingers. That sucks massive wee-wee. Uh, her turn was not left yet. I'm kind of surprised. Grabowski's not too bad. Vlahovic. This guy looks really good. Mateus Adamchuk. But anyway... One notification email. Is that a good one or a bad one? That's a press conference. It's nothing. No one cares. Talk to you later, Tim. Talk to you later. I want to be as Jehovah's Witness. Just don't be gay and follow all our rules. Damn, dude. But Daddy Sammy. Jeez. This chat. Oh, fucking look who got player of the month. The fucking cunt himself. Gabriel Jesus. Fuck off. Yeah, we're not calling you daddy, Joker. No, no way about that. Right, so we've got the final against Atletico Madrid. Got our best team out there. So far, I've played two, won one, drawn one. And I simmed one and lost it. So hopefully I got the loss out of my system. Another good video to watch after, later after back to stream by the rather good is wanky shit demon. The chat is weird. I'm going to let, do I let them play in their home game? I mean, that is a massive kit clash. It's literally the exact same kit apart from they've got red where we've got blue. Well, they're playing yellow. Champions League final. Got a feeling I'll lose this match. But again, if I lose, I'm not too fussed. Pavelka's up to an 80. Man's been improving like a god. Uh, Hatunen might get a place on the bench. He impressed me last match. I'm tempted to put him on the bench instead of Kandera and Nacho, who didn't do that well, but I'm not sure. Ah, fuck it, who cares? Mike Murph, also meant to play in Chaplin, Solanke, making sure my team's out there. Shibasaki still no loss his cheek. I think he'll be out for the start of next season as well. It's actually a very good point that Nate's made there. I think Tim's gone back to sleep, Nate. Sorry, I think Tim's gone back to sleep then. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, everyone distract me. When I get distracted by random topics, I do play better at FIFA. I don't know why. 
Nah, it's all right, Tom. I'll read any- I literally read anything in chat. Offensive names, racism. I don't give a shit. It's not me who said it. I'm just putting words, putting voice to words even, not voice to word. What? Not words to voice. If FIFA, if FIFA 18 had options to make a team and play with it in career mode, Supernatural Flappers, too right. That Meg's that guy then, that's pretty cool. Supernatural Flappers, that could be the name of a pro club team next year, Supernatural Flappers. Right then, there's a Champions League final, why are they wearing them yellow bibs for? It makes no sense, I know they're trading but they're wearing like goldish yellow underneath. Kind of pointless. My biggest hope is the stream doesn't cut out halfway through, which it sometimes does. At the Olympia Stadion versus Atletico Madrid. I think if I do again, if I do lose this, I, yeah, it's got into losing the final. But at the same time, I think I've out of four finals I've played, one Carabao Cup, two FA Cup, and one World Cup final. I've won one Carabao Cup, one FA Cup, lost one FA Cup, and lost one World Cup. So I've had the biggest of defeats with the World Cup. So he knows. Obviously, I'm going to try and win. I'll show you the side as well. Yeah, Champions League final on stream, though. Pretty cool. So they've got Griezmann and Tammy Abraham up front. You know, that's just easy to break down. Carrasco and Pulisic on the wings. So I think they're both high 80s, if not 90s. So will and Berkeley in the middle. Berkeley's 86, I believe. So will probably 90. Garcia, Tete, Caldera, and Mamerna at the back. And then Oblak. Oblak's about a 90 as well. So they've got, you know... 85 plus rated players in attack and in midfield and in net. The defence store, maybe Tete, I think he's definitely going to be in the high 80s. Not sure about the other ones though. Get one club and replace all the players with who you want. That could be an option. Could be an option. But at the same time, me. I don't know. I don't know. That's basically just like ultimate team in a way. Papin is obviously free on career mode. And you can't play online yet. Okay, this is going to be a very good Atletico side. Playing 4-4-2 as well, which I don't like playing against that much. 4-5-1 is better for me. Obviously, 5 at the back is much worse. But 4-5-1, I think I can play against. I can match it, player for player. 4-4-2, not really. Especially when players leave the ball behind. Yeah, I'm not going to win much headers against... I really need Abraham to go up against... Uh, Force Mensa. I need Gomez to go up against Antoine Griezmann. Just in general. Of course, it's not even Murphy's man, though. And it is Pulisic. I do let him off slightly. Oh, well, that's a good turn. Whew. <clears throat> Lost a lot of viewers. Go to a Champions League final, lose like 10 viewers. Seriously? Hey, well, who cares? Carry on. Oh, good block by Force Mensa. Win the header, please, boy. Thank you, Van Bergen. Somebody won that header. Forward to Chaplin, so it's going to be a very difficult situation unless Salvador gets on his bike a lot quicker. Salvador's done bits. And there the referee gives a foul, alright. Fair play. Fair play, ref. Good block by Slanky, alright, come on. So people stay for the weird chat, but then the actual biggest game of the season they leave. I don't get that. Oh well, whatever. Whatever. What if that guy still here who wants me to play as United? But technically, I've got United players in the squad, so I'm almost playing as United. I've got Force Mensa. Good block by Force Mensa, though. Speaking of him, and he will do it. Back to you get No. I was trying to distract me, but that's not a conversation I can distract myself with. A simple yes or no answer. It's a no. I, I've better something really wrong then, but I'm glad I didn't. Just can I get this ball? Three times I tackled that prick. Three fucking times. Chaplin, good touching. You should be. Oh my god, good touching. You fucking do that. Carrasco gets bitched off the ball. Chaplin free from Van Bergen. Van Bergen should continue his run, and he has done. Steaming onto it like a train. Oh, I just couldn't get there. Slanky though, outside the box. Not a bad shot. Ah, straight to Oblak. What colour is your toilet when did I lose my virginity? I saw that, I saw that. Uh, I have two toilets, and they're both white, technically. If you mean the colour of the room, then... Also white. Well, that's very weird, actually. White and black, and one's white and blue. Well, white and blueish. 
Oh shit, a fucking team's not working. Solanke, I saw that run, mate. Good first touch, well, could be in. Dominic Solanke, across goal. Oh, beautiful. Talk about toilets. Trust me, Ben, Nate is doing a very good thing. Nate is doing, um, whenever I have big games, he talks to me, like, he literally posts random things in chat, and I read them every so often, and then when I read them, I start playing better, because I distract myself. I start, I basically let the game, I go in autopilot mode, and when I play autopilot in FIFA, I do a lot better. When I mean by autopilot, I just play as I would normally play in, like, a relaxing game when I'm not streaming, so... Chelsea and shit. Offside, Griezmann. If I'm, am I high? I wish I was. I'd make the stream a lot easier. I'd be a lot less tense. <sighs> Fucking fortunate. I'm glad that Slanky got a goal as well. He's had a good season. Again, when he dropped off, Chaplin came good. When Chaplin dropped off, he came good. It's what you want in your strikers. Both playing good at the same time, or when one was playing bad, the other plays immense. That pass couldn't make it through. This Atletico Madrid fence, uh, this Atletico defence, is not bad actually. I rate him quite highly. I don't rate Fosu Mensa there though, I'm sure he could have got like he tried. Salvador is through. This might be one of his final starting games for us because we get that Ronaldo region in, which should be good. Van Bergen. Just went a bit too far there, mate. Is that a state of Branco getting forward? I hope not. So he will try to exploit the space. Chaplin getting back. Using his pace. Perfect. Oh, shit. Alenia on Seoul. Man's been a boss. Oh, Branco, mate. That was shocking, wasn't it? Alenia, I don't know where you were going either. That was a bit weird. Shibasaki, a good tackle. Franco, no mistakes this time. Alenya. Bit of space run into. Not too bad. And Bergen keeps it. Out wide to Denia Costa. Salvador. Come on, control it, mate. Whip it in. Good ball. Chaplin. Nah, not a good ball. What the fuck? Nate's gone on a weird tirade now. I don't get it. Ugh. Oh, fuck off, Tonno. He's a Tonno guy. It's a good ball forward. Griezmann gets away from his man. Only temporarily, though. Also, he meant it. Against Abraham, he got beat. Good tackle by Shibasaki. Needed be as well. And Chaplin. Not got the pace for some reason. Ah, he was offside by a mile anyway. He kept running. I don't understand why they keep running for it. It's like, you're offside, stop. Dumbass. I'm not going to keep running, guy. Oh, my God. Support me, please. Like, they just have them four midfielders. I have two, basic, basically. Because my wingers are so far forward, it doesn't help me at all. Okay, Berkeley, taking a pop shot from nowhere. Forward it goes. Oh my god, not the person. This, this, this formation, I cannot play against it, I really can't. It's counter attacking or nothing against it. Got Slanky running out wide, I want him in the middle, really. Like he is now. Oh, I like, did he save that? No, he didn't. Why did he show his name then? Say what you call Van Dyke. I think you kind of point people off the stream, Sam. Uh, Nate, sorry, damn, I'll call you Sam for. I don't know though, but I've literally lost fucking... <laughs> I, had tw I had 20 viewers. Start the Champions League final, go down to 10. Really? Yeah, it's t uh, maybe it's uh, typing things properly in it, not just random spam. Because I kind of be spam at the moment. And it's very weird spam as well. It doesn't make sense. Oh. Shit out. Who's... Merkin. Nobody's Merkin. Fucking give away the ball cheaply and they get a goal. Fuck's sake. 
Ah, no Merkin though. No. It's one of them goals. Oh my god, this fucking formation. Thank you, Elenia. This time I'm not gonna give the ball away, stupid boy. Oh piss off. Game's fucking making up let's go play ten times better than they really should do. And my team play a lot worse. Alright, oh, give me the deflection, the block, but not the full one. Alright. We'll tackle, but they kick the ball. Nice. Okay then, you're letting them keep the ball after the passes shouldn't make it. Give me man. How fucking fixed can this game be? How fucking fixed? Like, seriously? The bullshit of not giving me a man, but worse than that, Harris dives out of the way of the ball. Fucking ridiculous, man. Are you taking the piss with that shit? Making my keeper dive out of the way of the ball. Because they didn't want me scoring a goal. Sanky making the dumbest run ever. Are you like taking the piss with that? I cannot believe that shit. That's when you know the game's fixed against you. Ah, oh, straight to the fucking keeper. Ah, <sighs> 1 0 up, 2 0 down, well, 2 1 down there because of absolute bollocks. Feed it through to Solanke. Back to Chaplin. Do you fucking go fuck you, Atletico Madrid? Don't cheat me out of this shit. Chaplin and Solanke linking up together, come on. Ooh. Fucking ridiculous. I'm still carrying over that goal they scored. First one, fair enough, bad marking. I give away the ball to you, play it. I'm not that pissed. I'm slightly pissed, but not super pissed. Second one, the fuck do you want me to do? The keeper literally didn't save it on purpose. Christ, was ripping me to shreds on fucking turns. Why did he do a fucking lofty ball? I didn't ask him to. Three ball on the floor would have been perfect. Why are you not? Fuck hell. Get to the right position to tackle him, it'll be alright. Shibasaki, you fucking moron at times. He's like, he's having a bad game today. You're getting in the weirdest positions. Getting himself tackled in stupid ways. Ah. Shibisaki, just get back. You f I, he doesn't let me control my central midfielders when Griezmann or Abraham have the ball. It's very weird. Oh, who's marking him? Who's marking him? <laughs> Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Three shots on target, three goals for Atletico Madrid. No Murphy either. Oh, make the fucking X pass and you pass it to the fucking their player why not like the players mm -mm -mm. players aren't reacting either come on dickheads do something uh, run you have better pace than this oh fuck off Carrasco you overrated fuck turd yeah, there's the game oh literally what am I meant to do about any of these fucking goals every single goal they've scored I literally can do fuck all about my team just play like absolute shit in defence anyway, even going forward they're not perfect. The fielders aren't tracking back. Chaplin's just moving in quicksand. Fuck this game. But who are you passing to, you fucking dickhead? Are you fucking moving? You fucking passed to where he was. Run, you they're not even running. Like I'm holding down the sprint button, it's like, nah, you're alright. Fucking Shibasaki, you're getting fucking dragged. Fucking hell. Shibasaki's been shite though. Right, win this header for you, please. No, you're not, even you're not even trying to win the header. Fucking. Oh, fucking Shibasaki, can you please get off my fucking pitch? Doesn't track back and defend. Doesn't do shit in this match. 
I'll just fucking if they scored that they'll fucking make it perfect. They're, them to score every fucking shot they have. Right, come on, in the box now, slank it. Oh, couldn't get there. Chaplin, there we go. Fucking one goal back, come on. My rage is hilarious. My rage is justified at this point, because, <laughs> fuck me. Every shot on fucking target's going in. For them, that is, not for me. I might just do a fucking shooting mode, though. Might work, who knows. Shibisaki's off, that might make me play a bit better. He's been fucking me over. Burn getting forward now, and Salvador as well. Inside you go, my friend. Van Bergen arriving. Off the fucking post, of course it was. Where else would it fucking go? So Lanky Tree's guy, yeah, not gonna get that. Get it back in. Didn't get to Gomez either, and there's my, where's my team? Still not running properly either, I noticed. Fossey Mensa, what a shithead of that was. Cody Lena King, beautiful indeed. Right, come on. I, I didn't bring on it. I quick enough either, to be honest. Shabon I a lot quicker, and Hakimi is going to come on for Estero Branco. Estero Branco's not the greatest of games, he's got four minutes left to get a goal. Game seems to have gone very fucking quick. I'm glad they're not moving into the corner like they used to in FIFA fucking 17. Really, Harris? You didn't need to do that. Don't kid yourself. <clears throat> right, burn. Ibe. Slanky, Chaplin. Chaplin, mate. You scored two goals, but you're not a great game, have you? That's a free kick in that game. That is game. Van Bergen, thank you. <clears throat> yep, there you go. Lost the Champions League final. Four fucking three. The game completely fucked me. They did not have nine shots. Where are you getting these stats from? Where are you getting them stats from? Where are you saying they had nine shots on target? Bollocks. Ultra bollocks. Fucking yeah, right, whatever. Fuck. Hmm. That fucking goal they scored with fucking Harris dived, literally dived out of the way, that fucking pissed me off. Which one was it? Was it Politics goal? It's this one, yeah. This is at 1-1 as well. 1-1 in the game, ball come through. And there's no marking on him for one. He literally goes straight at Harris and he dives out the way. Like, look at this shit. The ball is going straight at Harris here. Straight at him, straight at him, straight at him, dives out the way. When you get that shit against you, you know the game's not going to go your way. 4-3 loss, we deserved a lot better than that. Athletic Madrid were very lucky. Just like, look at that shit. The fucking, the fact he dived out the fucking way makes it worse. Ah, gutted to lose in the final. Absolutely gutted. And now I get people coming once the game's finished. It makes no sense, viewing figures. Makes no sense. Before the final, 20 people watching. During the final, about 10-15. After the final, 20. Logic, non-existent. Fuck me, fuck you know. Oh well. Oh, less I want Jack Byrne. Ten point. I gutted to lose the final, but now we have next season to go and win the final. Shibasaki had a bad game. Harris had a shocking match. He's worth more than that. He's worth more than seven million, Jack Byrne. Although I do want to get rid of players, so let's negotiate this. <clears throat> and just so you know, I wasn't going to sell. I'm not just selling Jack Byrne because of the Champions League and all that stuff. I just want to, um, I just want to, you know, I want to get him off the books. And they're going to accept £8 million. Thank you very much, Leicester City. He's a good player, Jack Byrne, but I've got centimetres coming in next season who are going to do better than him, so, yeah. I feel bad keeping him at the club. So I think we can still qualify for the Euros if we win and other teams lose. Let's give, um, maybe Renich. No, I'm going to give that centre-back. What's his name? Turner? Yeah, Turner. Give him a few more drills. Damn, that is annoying. 
to lose the Champions League final 4-3, I mean, it's a thrilling final, but the goals they scored, Harry said nothing for, and even the shots they had on target were P-rollers, I'm guessing, or just like straight at the keeper. Gutting to lose like that. Yeah, I know OCDB's contract expiring. If I could, I would have done something about it. But I don't. No one buys him, he won't leave. Jack Burns been sold though. Finally, I've sold the player. Boom. Right, a few more training for Lance Turner and Tomislav Renic. I should have really stopped training Hwang and Slavovic, well, Vlahovic, sorry. But I didn't, I didn't. I'm going to give them drills to maybe Turner and maybe somebody else. But I just saw then in my transfer budget, I've got 1.91 million. I have more wage budget than I do transfer budget. Work that out. Do a score, uh, do a score report, Max Weyer. Uh, Max Howard, sorry. Well, I will do. Try Weyer. Could do. But first, before I do any sort of score report, I'm going to go back to my club squad because it makes the most sense. And I'm going to very quickly go to financial and... I'm going to offer Chaplin a new contract. I'm going to go down and offer new contracts to the players that I want to keep. If I delegate renewal, that's what they said the starting wages are. That's ridiculous. Right, so I'm going to go to contract negotiation. Use the money I've got now to get some players on better contracts. I'm not sure if it affects my thing next season or not, but we'll find out. He's currently on £78,000 a week. Hopefully he doesn't ask for any more than that. I should have done five years, but I didn't. Release clauses, yeah. If he asks for more than like, if he asks for 100,000, I'm not too fussed. 120,000, I can work with that. Although that goal bonus is ridiculous, remove that shit. That one, 120,000 pound a week, 125,000 pound a week. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna get Chaplin on a new deal. So I just wanna use the money now that I've got it to make new deals happen. Uh, Vidal Preu and all that I can sort out next season. Same with Sullivan. Moores isn't it crucial, Burns leaving now, Massey's leaving, hopefully. Uh, so out of these guys, I really want to keep Ibe and Clerk Salter, so I'm going to offer new deals to both of them. If I delegate renewal, why would you start it at £150,000? He's not worth that much a week. What's up, Daryl Pro Striker? Welcome to the stream. You've just missed me losing the Champions League final. Kind of got into losing the final after such a long season. I'm going to offer rotation, he won't take it, he wants important. I'd rather have it where he comes to me saying what he wants. I'm going to counter that at five years. If you accept that, you can counter one year either way, no release clause. And let me know what wages you want, you not let me know what wages you want. This is where it's a problem, I'm going to offer him 75, I think that's fair. And a signing bonus of like 1 million, I think that's a fair offer to give. Okay, I'm about... The same area, so they want £80,000 a week, so double his wages. Remove that appearance bonus, because he's going to get that. Yeah, £80,000 a week for Jordan Ive. See you in So yeah, we've got Ibe. I'm going to go for... Say, Burns leaving, so it doesn't really matter. Massey I'm going to try and get rid of. White I'm trying to get rid of. Clerks all, though, I do like... Maybe I do all give... Why a new deal? I don't know. Let's negotiate a contract with Clerk Sorter. So I'll do a few more contract negotiations, then I'll do a squad report, and then we'll get into the other business. So he's going to be rotation. He should accept that. Yeah, he accepts rotation. I'm happy about that. Five-year contract length. Yes, yes, yes. No release clause and wages. You're not telling me what you want. So I'm just going to... Uh, £60,000 a week and a signing bonus of... 750 might be too much but I don't know yet actually yeah there you go that's not too bad so we'll counter that we'll remove that bonus submit that 62 grand a week I can do that boom you're not the only one watching Ben other people are watching but they're not chatting so it's alright uh, am I from Wigan yes I am Darrow Pro Striker Nah, but you know, you're not the only one watching, don't worry. I could give new deals to some youngsters, but I'm going to leave that for now. So I'm going to go back up to the top. So we've got Grig out of contract. I do want to keep Grig, but his wages might be too much. I'll find, I'll sort that out next season, I think. Vidal Prey is not bad. Moses, I'm going to let go because the wages are too high. So I just delegated to renewal. There's a very quick test on Max Sullivan. 
You've recently negotiated a new contract with this player. Alright, fair enough. Maybe Peter Williams then. Delegate renewal. So if I start this at like, say, 21,000, don't go ahead in 66. So they considered that first initial offer too low at £21,000 a week. Right, I've recently negotiated a new contract with Patty Atunan. Don't know when I did that. White, let's delegate his renewal. Let's try, not 88, 43. Don't go higher than 100, well, don't go higher than 85. 59 grand a year. Well, a week, that's not too bad. I can do that. Sporadic player. Uh, Tuminen, delegate his renewal. I've recently offered a contract. I never did. Uh, we've tried a tune we tried Williams. Vidal Pereu, let's negotiate one with him, delegate renewal. Not 120,000, are you serious? Like 45, don't go over 100. Or don't go over 90. They consider the first offer too low. Eva for you. Bye, Lukaku. Me. <clears throat> Bye, Lukaku. Ben. Hi. What's up, Abrian? 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 Probably the only one who's been here since the start of this room, yeah. Probably from the start, yeah. Uh, team Azra and Peter, Ben. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> right, um, I'll leave that. I've done a few contract negotiations. I'm okay with that. Advance onward. It's going to be very, 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 very quick. Come on. I just want to do a bit more training. Stopping the sim. Transfer offer for Francisco Bergeon Perez, a person I am looking to let go of. Uh, do, do, do. New to the series, so can someone give me a season six summary? Abrian, I will give you a season six summary. We won the Premier League. We got knocked out of the FA Cup and Carabao Cup very quickly. And um, we lost in the Champions League final. Only recently, though. But yeah, we lost in the Champions League final. We did. Yeah, we did okay in the Premier League. I think I would aim next season, win the Champions League, win the Premier League again, try and do it back to back. Four times. We've won the Premier League three times in a row. That's pretty good. I'm going to try a new transfer fee of 2.5 for Bergeon Perez. Sweet, 2.5 million. Try to buy Weyer. Again, you don't have Adrian Peter. Remember what I said before? Just mention it once. I'll see it eventually. But at the moment, I'm looking to end off the season and potentially sell off a few more players. A bit more training. I'm going to swap out. Oh, what shit, me. Uh. Wang's gonna get well, I'm gonna give the drills to Turner again. I want him to be a defensive midfielder, so I want his passing to be a bit better. And I'm also gonna give Vlahovic's drill to Who who who? Clark? Maybe not map self. Nermanen. Give Nermanen a few drills. Increase that positioning, which is terrible. Bolter getting a debut in the Mariners. I would have tried him as a striker. Why, are they playing him as a winger or something? I thought Bolt would have been a striker. Uh, what national team am I managing? England. I got to the World Cup final with England recently, then lost in the final to Belgium. 2-1, or 2-0, I think. It was a very um, difficult World Cup. I know also the eBay's contract expiring. Chaplin's happy he played. He got two goals in the final, but didn't do much else. He kind of dropped off a bit. I'm hoping it's just a small slump and not just permanent. Oh, what a shock. Francisco Bergeon Perez's transfer talks have broken down. Estero Branco and Acosta have gone to do the um, America's Cup, the Copa, whatever it's called. I can't remember. Uh, we're going to simulate more training. It's, not, it's actually been not a bad six seasons. Only thing I'm missing is a Champions League win and I've, I've got progressively better I believe in the Champions League first season I think I got to the quarterfinals and I got unlucky against Real Madrid got beat by Real Madrid in the um, round of 16 I think and then obviously this season I got to the final and got beat by Atletico Madrid 4-3 Shkiri-esque right winger probably not a bad show actually and yeah let's end off this season and everyone's happy with how I've done. Right, this is going to take a long ass time. So, people are new to the stream and you are interested in FIFA 19 and my channel, if you're going to click on that link that's coming up in a second, you can go to a straw poll and vote on who I should be in FIFA 19 for my first career mode. And if you want to join my Discord server, you can do as well. 
Oh, Max Howard. I forgot about the score report. What I'll do is, at the start of next season, I'll do a score report for you, Max. Completely fell in my head. Completely forgot about it. So when I start the next season off, I know you won't see the stats and everything, but I've, you know about how, they, how many goals they scored and all that stuff, which is kind of a bad end on my part. But I know what I can do, actually, Max. I might have an idea. So if you hold on for a second, Max, I might have um, a way I can just go back, show you the squad report, and then just reload this save. I I'll trust me, I've got a plan. But yeah, if you want to vote my FIFA 19 career mode team, click on the straw poll link. And if you want to join my Discord server, it's a free group chat app. It's um, all the big YouTubers use it as well. Like, you know, they use it for the recording and stuff. It's okay, have fun with your career. No, Max, it's all right, dude. I will show you. I do want to share it. I want to find it myself. So I will go back to it and check. Because the game auto-saves, so when it when it auto-saved after the Atletico Madrid match, I'll load that save back up. Obviously, I'll save this one so I can reload it quicker. But yeah, I will reload it. I'd wanna, I do want to see myself. I, honestly, I used to do it at the end of every season, but for some reason, I just completely forgot. I don't know, you reminded me, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. And then just went into autopilot with training and contracts. So I do apologise about that. <clears throat> yeah. Just voted for the career. Nice one, mate. Thank you very much for doing that. And the only reason I'm doing a vote is because I want you guys to have like the option. Because I know that a lot of big YouTubers don't ask their fans what they want them to do. I'm not a big YouTuber by any stretch of the imagination, but if I get your guys' opinion, then, you know, it's like at least you guys have chosen something. It'll be different for me. The last three FIFAs, 16, 17, and 18, I've done Wigan. Uh, good career this. Thank you very much, Luke Cormack. Thanks for pronouncing my name right first or second try. Did I actually get it right? Pez 2019 could be better than FIFA 19. It could be adding on. You're not wrong, though. Pez 19 might be something I do as a little side project, like one stream career mode with Master League. Will you play Ultimate Difficulty on FIFA 19? Anne O'Brien? Anne O'Brien? Brian? I think it's Anne O'Brien. Yes, I will. And it's Anne? Is that a girl's name? Have I got a girl watching my stream? That's incredible if I have. Very rare that happens, especially for FIFA, but if you will, yeah, sweet. Did you hear that Thierry Henry is about to join Bordeaux as a manager? Be interesting if he does. I mean, fair play to him. I do rate Omri as a Chelsea fan. I do rate him. And that's, you know, he played for Arsenal and Barcelona, so. But I will play on Ultimate Difficulty on FIFA 19. I'm technically on Ultimate Difficulty now, I think. I could be like slightly below it. I'm on Legendary Difficulty, but I've got sliders that make it harder for me. Just in case you were curious. But yeah, doing Ultimate Difficulty, and I will be um, yeah, streaming whatever people vote for. <coughs> my throat is really messed up as well, people, so I do apologise. Uh, my aim is on FIFA 19 to do five career modes. Uh, you voted for Wolves, Ben. Ooh, good shout, good shout. I'm actually going to do a quick little check on how that's actually doing, like the results and everything, just so I can give people a quick update. It takes a long time to load for because I'm streaming. And again, it takes a long time for this to load in-game, so I do apologise if you sat around waiting for a bit. There's nothing I can physically do about it. And the more you go into FIFA, the longer it gets. 26 total votes on that FIFA 19 career mode. Thank you very much, guys. Let us see the current results. So the, actually, wow. Uh, currently, for my first FIFA 19 stream career mode, Wolves have 11 votes. Everton have 4, Chelsea have 3. Swansea have three, Middlesbrough have two, Celtic have two, and Newcastle have one. So I think Wolves might just win it. Using a different count, you're a male. Ah, you give me hope, you give me hope. No problem. Anyway, just wait for Wolves Ben FC, just give a Facebook status. <laughs> Fair enough. Using a different account, you're a male. Damn, and you... I'll just call you O'Brien then, because I feel weird calling you Anne if you're a female. If you're a male, sorry. So, yeah, I'm going to call you O'Brien. Takes a long ass time for this load. Honestly, I might even just time how long it takes to load, because this is ridiculous. Uh, 
I'll be uno secando. I'll still be talking, but from a distance. It's getting so hot in my room right now that I need to kind of like cool down a bit. So it's back away from my computer for a second. I can cool myself off. Oh. Yeah, there's literally nothing I can do at the moment, so I'm going to talk with chat for a bit. Anything in chat you want to speak about? Anything interesting? Football news? We've got um, Wigan playing later today against Stoke. Oh, say, as soon as I start talking, it loads up the thing. Uh, shirt sales. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. Your wafers men's best oh the best play of the season what the Ballon d'Or Modric Ronaldo Salah Kante I'm a Chelsea fan I would say that uh, to be honest I don't really know very quickly I'm going to save this by the way then reload an early one it's more like old Brian no no it's Brian Wait, unless it is you, Adnan, and your alternate account. But if it's not you, then R-I-E-N is Brian. The E. I-E makes an E sound, so it's Brian. Uh, yeah, I've saved it, so don't worry. Brian is B-R-I-A-N. Unless, obviously, it is you, then in which case, fair enough. But yeah, Brian and Brian. Irish. Uh, right, 10.59, 12.05, that'll be the one, 12.05, I believe. So this should be the one that was after the Atletico Madrid game. It is as well, right. So I could very quickly do a score report now that I didn't do at the end of last season. Can I sign more Salah? Uh, I could try. No reason why I can't. If I have the money for it, I'll try. But anyway, this is a squad report. I'm going to start off with um, stats. My top scorer this season was Solanke, and in, wow, 42 games, he got 33 goals and 21 assists. Not bad for him. Chaplin got 29 goals and 21 assists. Again, not bad for him. He's unhappy at the moment, though, but that's just weird. Van Bergen, 11 goals, 9 assists. Not bad for him either. Salvador, 8 and 7. Mitchell, Mitchell got 7 goals and 3 assists in only 17 games, so fair play to him. He had a pretty good season. Lenya, five goals, four assists. Ibe, five and five. Erbe, three and six. Not too bad, but I'm not a big fan of him. Candira Nacho, three goals, three assists. Only played 17 matches. Moses, two and two. Two and seven for Estero Branco. Two goals for Gomez. Two for Forsy Benzer. Fidel Prey got one goal in six games. Lost to Sheik, was doing well, then got injured. Hatunen got a goal in two games. Shibasaki, one goal, five assists. He was average. And then the rest of them got no goals for us and assists. We've got Williams with one. Jack Byrne got an assist. So did Niemann for us. Jamin Niemann. And then that is it for that one. We'll go to attributes now. We're going to go for the most improved player first. So um, Hugh Hill went up by four. Nermanen went up by four. As did Williams, Aeneas, Niemann, Tumanen. Wow. Pavelka went up by three, as did Clerk, the other keeper. Sullivan went up by three, so did Hatunen. Vidal Preu, Mitchell, Candera Nacho went up by two, as, along with Elena, Collins, Cameron Lee, Harris, Estero Branco, Hakimi, Renich, Gomez. Wow, everyone went up by two, and Bamut as well. Clerk's old to force Mensa, White, locks his cheek. Salvador, Delgado, Cerna. Turner, Van Bergen, Erbe, Lang. Bergeon Perez all went up by one. Shibasaki, Ibe, Grant, Massey, Gilby, Powell, Byrne, Osidibe, Byrne, Acosta, Pavard, Burke, Solanke, Grigg, Chaplin all went nothing, neutral. And Chaplin was like a schlup and Moses went down by one. That's pretty much it for the squad report. And I've got a lot of unhappy players. That's what happens when your squad's very big, you can't keep everyone happy. I've got a lot of unhappy, a few mixed players, and not that many actually really happy players. I've got one really happy player in Tomislav Renic. So there we go. If you're a United fan like me, would you sack Mourinho? No. I would not. Personally. Anyway, that was a squad report for you. Because I, I think Mourinho, he, like, he's never done more than three seasons. What would happen if he did three seasons? I will keep him, personally. But yeah, I'm a Mourinho fan. 
I know it's very weird to say because obviously I'm a former, well, I'm a Chelsea, I'm a former Chelsea, I'm a Chelsea fan. I think Man U was the right decision. I think at the time it was the right decision to bring in Mourinho. There's no doubt about that in my head. At that time, there was no one better to go for. But I don't know. I think Woodward needs to be given a quick, like a bit of a looking at because he seems to not really do much. But again, that's just my personal opinion. I don't see how this makes sense. Lose second game of the season and everyone wants to sack him. Again, that is seems to be true. But I think it's more to do with Pogba. Even though that he brought Pogba back, and now they're apparently falling out. But I, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's a very weird situation. You would have sacked him a season ago. Damn. But it's one of the things, though, like, it happens in football all the time. There's only one team that can win the Premier League out of 20. There's only one team that can win the Champions League out of 100, whatever it is, who start off in it. Europa League, only one team can win it. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, only one team can win it. So in this season, out of the four things you can potentially win as a top four club, there are, like, no, at least... Hundreds of other teams who could also win those competitions. So, you know, you've got to be a bit... Yeah. Let go of Woodward, yeah. I don't think the back four is that bad. I think they're, just, they're not ready. They're not fit enough yet. Like, I rate Baye and Lindelof. And I, as a, again, as a Chelsea fan, I hate United. But I do think they are good players. They just haven't been given the time. Why am I fucking training this prick? <clears throat> Most likes Turner. I'm missing a player. Where is Lance Turner? Yes, Chelsea would have been good if they didn't sell, you know, basically the best players. Salah, De Bruyne and Lukaku. I'm missing a player. I'm missing Lance Turner. Greg still here. Chaplin still here. Why am I missing Lance Turner? I'll give Williams a bit of a few training. Still got all my wingers. I'll give Sullivan a bit of a training. A bit of a boost. I won't miss any midfielders that I know of. I'm going to give Neiman a few drills. I like Neiman. Uh, I'm actually going to give him some passing drills because I don't think his passing is that good. I am missing Lance Turner. Luke Shaw's good but young. Valencia's not good enough. Lindelof not good enough. Lindelof's young. He's younger than um, Luke Shaw. By Lindelof a go. Jones should get out, yes. Jones should leave. Smalling. I think Smalling should have been offered to Leicester for Maguire. That would have made sense to me, but they didn't. They wanted to do money straight up. But if you offer Leicester a player, I think they'll take it. Valencia and Younger, all but Good and Shaw plus Dallet are the ones for the future. Again, Shaw and Dallet are for the future, definitely. So is Lindelof. But if he brought in Maguire to play alongside Baye this season, got rid of Smalling or Jones the other way, it would have made sense. I believe I am missing a player. I actually think I've lost a player. Lance Turner. Lance Turner. So Lance Turner was part of my team last year. I started a new season, he left. He wasn't out of contract. I think I know why though. I think I know why. I'm going to advance forward. I'm going to get all my pre-contract players in. Get rid of all the people who have sold slash out of fucking contract. But I think because I signed one too many people on a pre-contract, the game got rid of one of my players, at least. I could be missing some more, yeah? I really don't know. Uh, that's not the point, mate. Style is negative, not our way. 19 points behind our rivals, never lasted a third season. We're level below top six by our Arsenal. I think Dalit and Shaw can secure their full-back spots for the future, but then we, we have not enough depth. Damian wants to leave. Damian does want to leave. I think you've got to let Damian go. Either on loan or permanently because he doesn't want to be there. I'm going to accept him, Mike, actually. 8.54 million. And play against Milan again. I know the style of play is negative, but it's one of them. It's Mourinho's doing it. He must have a reason for it. He might not trust some players. Anyway, so Jack Burns gone to Leicester permanently. 
and we brought in Sade Klasinac. Gilby's gone out on loan to Derby for a season. Schlupp has left on loan, oh, sorry, he's left the club to Derby. Nerman's gone on loan to Leverkusen, and we've also brought in Andrea Horta and Josh Onema. So I believe because of what we've done, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to try and actually sign transfers, transfer hub. Because Lance Turner's got removed from our squad. Now, on ever left of the stream, by the way, pre-contracts ROP without a doubt. Yeah, I'm going to bring Lance Turner back. I don't know why he got rid of him. But with my pre-contracts, Aubryon, what I do is I only sign players who are... Well, I'm, I'm only going to bring in players who are not the best players. So if my best player in my squad is 86 overall, I won't sign somebody on a pre-contract who is 87 plus. But if I can sign somebody who is 85 overall on a pre-contract, and my best player is 86, I'll do it. That's my rule for it. I don't try and do too many and all that. I think I actually might get a better deal for Lance Turner now he's left. No release clause, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, this is a problem, salary. I'm going to offer him like... No, not that much. Like 5.75. I know it's a lot more than he should get, but it's a five-year deal and a signing bonus of like 150. Fair offer, but sweet, sweet, sweet. There you go. Nate's explained it perfectly. We need a crowd type manager, one who cares more about the play style, but at the same time still guarantees results. <clears throat> one, of, again, one of the things you do need, but trying to find a manager like that is... Very difficult. So we've got Lance Turner back, which is good, because he got removed for some reason, which I find very annoying. But now I can do business in the window. Proper business, that is. So we got in. Class Natcher is injured. Fantastic. Left back, left mid. So he's replacing Schlupp, who left. So he's going to be a very good backup. Uh, Neiman's back off his loan. CDM, who's looking very good. He'll probably play a few... So he's replaced Jack Byrne. Like, that's a new Jack Byrne, Neiman. And we've got Horter. Very good physical stats. Looking forward to using him. Sense made a slash cam. We've also got Onimer as well. Josh Onimer, 86 overall. He was the best pre-contract player we got. And he can play as a cam at right mid or centre mid. English as well, very, very good. So I'm going to sort out all them players in terms of positions in like a second. Um, how many seasons will I do? Ooh. I'm actually not sure. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, Nate, until FIFA 19 comes out. Potentially two more seasons. My aim is to get to 100 episodes. This is 75 now. So if I can do 100 episodes of this career mode, I'll be very, very happy. So we've got £64 million pound as a transfer budget. Probably had about 65 but, you know, I got that guy on a, uh, on a free. So the biggest signing I'm making this season, which I said from the start, is going to be this guy here. Ruben, sorry, Fabio Rafael Pereira Silva. £90 million, £29,000 in the wages. 90 overall at 22 years old. Now, you can probably guess who this is. This is Ronaldo's region. Look at them stats. How can I not even attempt to sign him? So he's going to be the guy I try and sign. So yeah, that's going to be very interesting to do. Uh, City beating Huddersfield 6-1 and we're losing 3-2 to Brighton. I saw a stat the other day and it said we haven't won a game by five goals since 2013. Since then, City have done it 18 times. Again, that's one of the things though. You, that's like... Mourinho won't do that because... Yes, City have gone on a 1-6-1 against Huddersfield. To be fair, Brighton are better than Huddersfield. There's no question about that. Brighton are a much better side. They've recruited better, stronger team, and in my eyes, a better manager. But it is a painful start. But at the same time, City have won, in, have won by a lot of goals. Yeah, but at the same time, it's City. They're a different side. City are a better side. You can't compare yourself to City at the moment. The teams United have to compare themselves to are Chelsea. Spurs, maybe even Liverpool. So, our City so far are just that little bit ahead, but teams will catch up. They're built up, and everything United need to build up now, Chelsea need to build up. But the only team that's actually built up over the last few seasons, other than City, Liverpool. And then Liverpool are the ones challenging City at the moment, so, you know, that's what you've got to think about. That's all you've got to think about. 
Right, so we've got a lot of players, so I'm going to offer some players in this deal. I'll offer some players, I'm going to offer a player. I'll try Dominic White to start off with, <clears throat> just to find out what kind of player they want. They want a left back. Okay then, that's a very weird position to ask for. Uh, I've just got Kalasnatch in, but I could offer him in the deal. No problem, Abrian. Abrian. R-A-S-N. Have some food, get something to eat. Yeah, the only reason this guy stayed at that club is because he is Ronaldo's regen and he only joined last season, so he couldn't leave. I'm so tempted to offer Kalasinac. I want to find out, yeah. I'm going to offer Kalasinac. Okay, then. I cannot afford this guy at all. I'm going to counter it at, like, £60 million plus Kalasinac. I know it's not enough, but I do want to bring in this guy. So £60 million plus glass snatch, 115 million. I cannot afford that, mate. Bring it down to like maybe 70 will be the highest I go because I still need to afford his wages. So that one, 70 million pound. Yeah, I, I can't get him. Not yet, anyway. What's my stream schedule? Half past 10, so 10.30 a.m. British time. And that is for Monday to Friday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that's at half past 10 in the morning. And then I might do some bonus streams. If you want to find out more, join my Discord. You just, I'll put the link again. Uh, usually I get... Wow, I typed that wrong. I don't know why I thought it would auto-fucking put it in. But yeah, check out my Discord. I post the put-a-sell-on clause. Again, there was already one in the 5% and they wouldn't accept it. So I do need to raise a bit of money first before I do start bringing in potential players. So... Yes, that's not going to be good. Sratch has just joined them. Tears. Okay, but right. I need to go through my thing as well and sort out my players and who I want and don't want. That's a brilliant kit. I love that kit. They still don't want to sell to Silva Lopez. Musonda, Turner's in there. I need to scout him again. Goretzka. Try Weyer. See you guys tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. Can you do the vote thing? Yes, I can, Nate. Ask and you shall receive. I know that uh, Bradley, yeah, you're right. Class Hatch is a beast, but for a 90 rated 22 year old, you can't say no to that. But at the moment, I'm just going to try and sell some players. If you want to vote people for my next career mode, then put it there. Put it there, well. So Clark is transfer listed at the moment. So I want to sell him. Buck is loan listed. I think I'm actually going to transfer list Moses just to try and get a bit of money in for him. I'm going to transfer list Pavok. I'm not a big fan of him. And Neyaz can get loaned. Renich. I'm going to keep playing him. Estero Branco, I'm happy with. Akimi, I'm happy with. Bamak transfer listed. I'm actually going to transfer list Dan Byrne as well. I just want to bring in money and reduce the squad depth. Turner, I'm going to um, keep him. Bergeon Perez is transfer listed. I'm not selling for to Mensa. Clerks Alter is going to stay. Gomez is going to stay. Costa is going to stay. Cameron Lee, 21 years old. He's not that good. Transfer listed Cameron Lee. Two minutes out of contract and loan listed. White is transfer listed. I'm going to actually transfer list Shibasaki as well. Got a Japan, uh, you got a Japan practice session done. I only got two hours sleep today. Damn, dude. Get some more sleep if you can. Niemann has potential to be special, which is good. Massey is transfer listed. I'm going to transfer list Grant as well. I have better players than him. I'm staying. Alenia's staying. Horta just joined. He's going to get a lot of chances. Powell, I'm going to transfer list him as well. I shouldn't have brought in these players. I really shouldn't have done. Hatunen, loan listed. Salvador, not leaving. Lofty Cheek ain't leaving either. He's got four weeks. And he's back. That's good. Onimus come in. I'm going to probably change his number around. Inacho's loan listed. Harrison Mitchell showing great potential. Williams, loan listed. Sullivan, loan listed. Van Bergen ain't leaving. Solanke ain't leaving. Chaplin's not leaving either. Erbe, I'm going to actually put up for transfer. No problem. Ben Egan. What's up? What's up, Ben? What's up? What's up? What's up? But El Pereira going to offer a new contract too. And yeah. So I've transfer listed quite a few people though. So I'm going to basically just wait. All I can do is wait at the moment. Check my calendar as well. When are the next England games coming up? There we go. Ireland and Switzerland. So I've got some pre-season games and then the first game. I'm not going to play the United match. 
I'm going to go up to that match there against United. And that is when I will end the stream. So we've got another 50 minutes left. Did a bit of a longer stream today because of all the... You know, creates the start of the next season. I want to get it kicked off the right way. So I'm going to keep training Neiman. I'm going to actually swap out Williams drills with oh, Turner. Now he's back. I'm going to boost these guys up to 70 overall. Give a bit of a help in hand. Neiman I'm going to train to 80. Let him grow naturally for a bit and then train him again. So Turner, book it up. Dribbling, yeah, sure. Let's get your ball control and dribbling up. Who's your my favourite career mode YouTuber? Oof. I actually don't have one. I, don't, I used to like... I, I used to love the Master Books and his career mode, and then I stopped watching them. Then I watched them, I'm sorry, I watched them again now. MGH, MGH I watched because I don't want to become like him, if that makes sense, because I don't like his content. Um, to be honest, I, don't, I only really watched the Master Books. Kizzle Kicks... If you don't know who Kizzle, Kick, uh, Kizzle Kicks is, very good. Anyone hear about this 16-year-old Shamrock Rover Irish goalkeeper Man City signing for £400,000 in a year or two because he wants to stay there? Sweet. I didn't even know about that, no. Interest shown in Tears, I don't really care. Mitchell wants to play. Right, so my second team at the moment. I'm going to use my youth team for these matches. I just sim the games because I don't really care about preseason. Yes, I can get a bit of money if I win, but at the same time, I'm not going to be enough. The more money I'm going to get is from selling players. We actually get a one-one draw. A one-one draw against AC Milan. Your favourite aspiring DK? I've actually never got into his things. Four cements has finally completed that ban. Chaplin's not happy. Mitchell's happy. I'm going to actually give my first team then for the next match, just to keep Chaplin happy. And Force Immense has finally completed his fucking thing. Chesnoy Gaming's great. Yeah, Brother Tucker. If you know Ches, you probably know Kizzle Kicks. Kiz. I like him. I like Kiz. DK's King of FIFA YouTuber YouTuberings. Interest Shawnee Musonda. Wow, I, I don't want to spend that much money on him. Vallejo. Leverkusen. Try Arneas. I've only got one Arneas, but I'm not sure. What is his... Oh, yeah, the first one was Weyer. Sorry about that. I forgot about Weyer. Weyer. There's no Weyer. And Arneas. I'm guessing he's Mexican, just based off his name. Okay, there's quite a few Arneases. So you might have to give me a bit more specific on that one. Adrian Peter, if you can. And there's no Weyer. There's no Weyer. I don't want to fix the problem myself. So I'm going to simulate this match and also replace the players. Use my first team for it. Hopefully no injuries. But my main team's out there so that Chaplin can be a bit happier. Skip ahead. 2-1 win. Elena and Van Bergen get the goals. Not too bad. And I'll use my second team for the final match against Napoli. Uh, my role at the club. Again, he's not happy now, so he'll play this next match. Bit more training. My favourite YouTuber for FIFA is what? Let's fight, throw poop, and more bombs filled with cat piss. Fair enough. Uh, did I ever watch the True Jory career modes? They were hilarious. Yes, I did. I watched it, but yeah, I, I did like the True Jory. I do like the True Jory. I'm not a big fan of his podcast. I'm more a fan of the highlights. But yeah, I used to watch True Jory. That was rage. If you wanted rage in a career mode, you watched True Jory. Jose and A's left winger, fair enough. Uh, gotta go, just hopped on for a few. Have a good one. No problem, Ben. Thank you for staying around and I had a quick chat about United and all that stuff. Very good to see. So I'm gonna very quickly search for Jose and A's. If he's a left winger, then I might not sign him because I'm after that Ronaldo region. Jose and A's left. Oh, there's, oh yeah, that one, obviously. I will scout him though. You joke, I am no problem, no problem, Tommy. The true Jordi is a legend. He's getting the subscribers he deserves, finally. So I'm happy about that. Am I going to watch KSI versus Logan Paul? No, I am not. I so for money. 
I guarantee that KSI doesn't hate Logan Paul. Logan Paul doesn't hate KSI. It's all a big money thing. After it, I don't think they'll be friends, but I don't think they'll like hate each other either. So, yeah. Give you a chance to play Pasa Hatunen. I, I've got a transfer offer then. Mickey Tuminen. Wrong one, mate. What do you mean? Oh, right. Well, you both support Man United, so I just assumed you both talked about United. I don't really want to sell Tuminen. He's young, tall, could be a good backup, so I'm going to reject that offer. Yeah, but I don't really... I'm not too fucked about KSI, Logan Paul. It'd be a good event. The fact they have to pay for the live stream is a bit annoying. I know you can probably get it for free, but... Meh. Meh, meh, meh. Shibasaki's in the second team as well. I want you to realise that. 4-0 win, but we're getting an injury. What? Oh, see, that's, this is the stuff that don't make sense. In the first minute, we missed a penalty and also our keeper got injured. How is that possible? That's dumb. Moses got two goals also, fair play to him. That's ridiculous. Before uh, before 59 hits, you need to get a first 11 for your celebrity Wigan squad. If they're originals, I'll boost them up in stats. No problem, dude. Once I finish off my career model, you know. Oh my god, what happened to Nathan Ake's head? What happened to Nathan Ake? FIFA's done my man Ake wrong. That is not Nathan Ake. That looks nothing like him. What have they done to him? Well, thinking FIFA's broken. Yeah, I'll send off that squad to you, Tommy, once I've finished my career mode. And before FIFA 19, hit, FIFA 19 hits, I'll try and do that. Tom, that prize money, good. Uh, Pavelka's out for six weeks with a torn hamstring. That's nice. Good job we have backup keepers. Fucking six week injury. Uh, Cameron Lee to Forest, 3.1 million. I'm not opposed to selling Cameron Lee. Probably the best offer I can get as well, so I'm not going to accept that. I've got Tumanen, who's two years younger. I mean, three overalls less, but he's taller, so yeah. Cameron Lee's off on his way out. Fucking injury though for six weeks. It's mad. Mad six week injury. Getting a bit of a headache as well at the moment. I don't know why. Hopefully it's going to pass. Take a quick drink of water. I need more transfer offers. Come on. Not for him. The one person who, like him, forced you meant to, not going to leave. I can get 118 million for him, but why would I get rid of my best player? Boom, gone. An offer for Salvador as well? Oh, shit. Salvador had a 30 million pound release clause. And it's been met. So I could be losing Salvador. 10, 15 hours of setting up my Mongrel series on the 26th of next month. I think so, yeah. Mongui, welcome dude, you're late again. No problem dude, don't worry about being late. Worst things could happen. I'm going to actually play my main team for this one. Actually no, I'm going to use my second team for this one. Harris is in the second team now because of the injury to Pavelka. Second team for this one, if I get to the final I'll use my main team. I might even play the final, just for the sake of it. 3-1 Mitchell and I with two goals. Damn, Tom Hawk sounds like a lot of work. But if it works for your Korean mode, it works. Press conference, yep. Release clause has been played for Ivan Salvador. Shit. I mean, I want to keep him, but £30 million, pounds, not bad. Lost the cheek is back, so he can start playing more prize money as well. I do something, you know, it's just... I do something you know as a streaming platform. You know. Never heard of it. You know. Oh, you know. Wow. Not know. You know. I'm dumb. Difference between know and know. You know. Sounds like a bit. Sounds like a rip off of YouTube in a bit, doesn't it? Right. So I'm probably going to play the final of this. Liverpool accept 39.5 million bid for Origi. So Origi joining Southampton's a big one. Press conference I don't care about. So I could be losing Sal I could offer Salvador a new contract and keep him, but the money I can get might be worth it. I'm gonna play with an experimental squad for this one. So I'm gonna play the match. Also replace the players. 
play this final. I want to, you know, I want to get this stream to potentially three hours or before I start the Man United game. So this will bump up the time a bit. Plus, you know, I can test out some new players. I'm going to test out Horta in the middle. I'm going to uh, also, I'm, going to, I'm basically going to play the new signings. New signings will get games. Oh, apart from Klasnach, who's injured, fantastic. Onima, I'm going to play instead of Chaplin. I'm actually going to put Chaplin up front because he's angry about not playing. So give him some more game time. Greg's going to go on the bench for Erbe. Loftus Cheek might get a game off the bench. Try and get his fitness back. Uh, people Hatunen, I want to give a chance to, so he'll go on the bench instead of Ibe. Give him a break. Neiman, I'm actually going to play him instead of Alenya. Kimo start at right back. Uh, not Lee at left back. I'm going to try. Do, 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 do. I might sell Lee. Hopefully. Uh, Bamut's going potentially. And Nea's on the bench then for Pavard. I'm going to sell Pavard. Powell's potentially going Williams. No. I'm Renich on the bench. I should put Renich and Turner on the bench. And just sure, screw it. I'll put. I'll put Aeneas on the bench because Turner can play as a CDM, so... Yeah. I'm happy with that team. Chaplin up front, Onima there, Van Bergen on the right, Stavidov maybe his last game on the left, Horta in the middle with Niemann. So trying out the new signings. Two minutes at left back. And I might put... I'll give Harris a break and put Clerk in goal. You have to go, Nate, no problem. Thank you for staying around as long as you did. But yeah, we're going to play this match against Sevilla at the Parc de Prons. Horta's going to play, Onima's going to play. The numbers are not set, by the way. I will change the numbers before the start of the season. If I don't forget, that is. So Onima won't stay as 41. Horta won't stay as his number. Expert passing. Dink. Dink. Basically, just press square and you're done. I don't know why I keep doing this for, it's pointless. It's actually pointless. Me doing this is pointless. I want to get that. Points. Give me them points. I want them bonus points. Yeah, boy. 3,000. Sweet. So you get to a point where you start getting 800 points a pass, so it's like, it's worth it just to do the normal passes, get it over the players' heads. That guy's marking Van Bergen in a weird way. Oh, number kicks out of play. Sweet. Nice one. What a waste of time that was. <clears throat> right, whatever. Sevilla side, just in case you are curious. Again, if I lose this match, this is just a mess around match. Rico Henry left back, well. Dickman, nah, <laughs> Dickman. Santimino at right mid, Pizarro, Muric, Nagy. This is mainly me just testing out a few players, seeing how well they'll play. Lost his cheek, might get back to full fitness. Trying at Chaplin as a striker. Maybe he can become a backup striker if Onimer plays well. Giving Onimer a chance, Horter a chance. Salvador again might be playing his final game for the club because he might be leaving because of his release clause. I, can't, I actually forgot about the, rele the uh, release clause. I could sort it out, but me. Honor oh, couldn't get a shot away then. I'm lucky for him. Obviously got Hatunen playing, who's a exciting prospect player. Salvador, good tackle. I do rate Salvador quite a lot, but if we're getting that new guy in, I don't really need Salvador anymore. So I'm not really fussed if he does go. Would have been a good backup. Would have been a good backup. No doubt about that. Couldn't get that pass through. Plus an extra £30 million pound if Salvador does go. We potentially could bring in that guy. Then any other sell like any of the people we sell, that's just more money in the bank. Oh shit. Oof. In the head it. Thank you, Force You meant, sir. You're a god amongst men. The biggest thing is, I don't want any injuries. All I care about, really. No injuries, and I'm happy. That Bergen's getting caught. He's Rico Henry. He has a lot of pace, so I let him off. Onma's in the middle, but we're going to aim for Salvador instead for some reason. Duarte clears. Tubman's in there. Now he's quite tall, but never mind. It's gone to Hakimi, who's let that go. Tumanen, probably not got a good shot on him, so let's play it inside to Salvador. Then to Joe Gomez. Back in, try again. 
I have not got it somehow. Assuming him. Back across. Keem it inside. Oh, Neemnen. Neemnen. No, give that away. Pizarro. Probably going to keem it. On him through to Chaplin. Offer Salvador a contract in my state. I, again, I could, but if I do bring in that new guy, that left winger, Ronaldo's regen, uh, Salvador won't play anyway. I know he can play in multiple positions, but that, you know, we've got better people. Salvador's reached his peak now. So the money I get for him, £30 million, pound, it could get me to sign that left winger. And then, you know, I've got a really good, if not the best, left winger in the game. So I've got to prioritise new people at the moment. Salvador's done his job for us. He's been a legend. He'll be remembered as a legend. I'll never forget Salvador, but at the moment, I've got to focus on the future of the club. And the future is a young 22-year-old who's 90 overall. I chose the lead, so thanks, no problem. Playing Stoke away right now. Oof. Hopefully you win that match. Could be a difficult game, that Stoke. Oh, force you meant to be the acrobatic. Great name, I like your name. Two men should have been that header. There you go. Straight down to their man. Nice one. Had to get back a bit quicker, Halter. I thought you had a bit of pace on you. Apparently not. Okay then, straight through my team. Key mid, boom, oh, move it around, move it around, move it around. Flick it forward. Chaplin, back to Mitchell Van Bergen. Rico Henry can go away. Flows into Onimut. <sighs> David Sonia with the save. It seems to be when I start playing matches, I lose a few viewers. It's very interesting to see that, because surely you want. Would you want like you want to watch the matches? I don't know. I don't know. Interesting, nevertheless. Good save by Soria again. Kind of battering severe at the moment, not giving them many chances, if any. Forty minutes. Ooh, tried to flick it on though. Didn't work. You're not going that in a mate. You're a midget. Well, well Chapman got it somehow. Van Bergen on him up. Oh, tried to keep a relay. Van Bergen couldn't get it though. Hort with a shot from nothing. I thought he was going to tackle him, but he ran onto that and blasted it. Fair play to him. Go back to my Everton career. Nice. As in back, as you mean you played it before, then you're going back to it and playing it again, or you're going back to it as in you're starting it up again? Like you played recently, but you're going to play it man. I don't know. What? Everton career, though. How far are you into your Everton career? Like how many seasons? Oh shit. That was a bad pass. That was a bad pass. Hort has not been. He's not that quick. I thought he'd be a lot quicker than this. Maybe he's technically good. Who knows? Maybe I have to do a bit of a passing play with him. Not with Halter. Ooh, that's a bad tackle. That's a bad tackle, Rico Henry. They don't. They don't have. But oh, Stoke have Butland and goal, yeah. On this career mode, did they? I'm surprised they kept him. Usually Butland gets sold, like the first person Stoke sell is Butland. Very weird if they got him. But well, fair play to him if they kept him. Akeem it back in the middle. Onima. To Chaplin. Ooh, gotta work this well. Oh, children are ex past on a bad idea. Children to get past this defence, if I do it's the Shots are straight at the keeper. Got a flick. Maybe get Van Bergen on the action. There's Chaplin. Oh, it's blocked on the line. Well, not on the line, but it's blocked just before the keeper gets it. Van Bergen got blocked by Henry. Henry didn't get a yellow. I thought he got a yellow card for Rico Henry. That tackle he did before. If not, he's got away with one. Penalty given, man. I hope you score it. Unless it's for them, in which case I hope they don't. Oh, fuck off, Duarte. Ornament, mate, you made me quicker than this. 
My dude's slow as fuck. We're well, forty men, so you're not that quick and all, but you'd be better than that, mate. If that went in, that would be insane. Button save, but Kima Ruth made it 1-0. One, one, no, nice one. One and a half, and I've done all the transfers and put all the teams in the right league, so it's realistic. Nice one, dude. Nice one. What happened in your first season, then, Ben? Did you get... Um, how far did you get? Any cup wins? Obviously, you had no European stuff, so... It'll be interesting to see what you did. Coming out of three to Onima. Just made the wrong run at the end. I'm still live, Tim. I'm doing three hours today. Three hours today. Basically, I'm going to play this final pre-season game and then I'm going to advance towards the Man United match, which is the Community Shield. And then I'm going to end it there. And then tomorrow I'll start off with the competitive matches. And a few more transfers as well. Come here, Tim. I'm still live. I'm still live, motherfucker. Usually my streams are about two hours. I thought I'd do a bit of a longer one today. I want to really test out some things as well with like YouTube statistics and all that crap. With kind of a hidden agenda for this stream. Passing was fantastic then, and then we didn't pass it back to Chaplin. Ball with Bin. Oh, for fuck, who you knew? Hey, but Tim, you missed the Champions League final and I lost. 4 3. Good match. Too many mistakes for the game to be honest I made a few myself so I'm not like innocent oh he's back he's back man's not hot pep is back Champions League won you won the Champions League in the FA Cup how the hell did you win the Champions League in the first season with Everton that's wrong isn't it one and a half seasons in that's if you're playing as Everton, that's impossible to win the Champions League unless you put them in the Champions League. Did you? Did you actually do that? I'm pretty sure Everton, yeah, Everton are not in a Champions League position this season. Or last season. Oh shit, well, they passed it for some weird reason. That's what they passed it for. First shot on target goes in. You've done the same thing as well as Uxis. Uxis. Ah, so you're in... I get you now. So Stoke in the champion. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Makes sense. Weird that I weird that conceded that goal. Very good shot. They were pretty much going to score anyway, but... Weird that they passed it around a bit too much. Could put that ball through. Right, on him it. Go for it. No, oh, blocked again. Some bad RNG at the moment. Very bad RNG. Right, Van Bergen. Back on his bicycle. Don't tackle him there. Can get a box now. Oh, well, really? Oh, it's not falling to my players either. It's falling to them. Falling to them. Falling to them every second. I, I can make all my subs, I suppose. I might bring on Loftus Cheek as a cam, see if he can do anything. Onuma's not really impressed that much, but again, it's only one match. Can't be too critical yet. This passing, as soon as I get outside my box they start passing like gods offside surely he was onside damn 2 0 nice one Van Bergen well played mate and a good game Van Bergen and the driving force of our team no doubt about it Chaplin's up oh, fucking Dickman gets her yeah his name's Dickman Um. You know, qualify for the Champions League. Ah, right, right, sir. That makes sense. Won the FA Cup, fair enough. Uh, I shit you not, I just came up with that Edison has moved to Man United in the middle of the game for 195 million. Damn, dude. 195 million. Ridiculous. Van Bergen's been our best player, but I need to rest him. 
I'm going to bring on bring on Hatunen, Loftus Cheek for Onima, Chaplin a break for Grig. I'm going to make all the subs basically, so get Turner on, and Neyes for Hakimi, Renich for Tumunen. Playing Palace now, Ben, good luck with it. Uh, Toma, you started a personal rebuild Liverpool save today. Probably should get slept more though, I feel like dog shit with it. Uh, nice. I think, yes, sleep is more important than um, a lot of stuff. But anyway, we've got a lot of subs coming on. Let's try and get a goal here. Ah, straight to the keeper again. My finishing's been a bit lack. Been a bit lack. Okay, they got through that. Uh, Neyaz, not a small player, so he can probably do a bit of a... Oh, shit, never mind. Never mind, take that back. Renich not reacting. Not reacting at all though. Let's go attacking. Try to get a goal back in this match. We haven't deserved to be in this position, but we're in it. Lots of cheek down the middle. Good control as well. Well, lots of cheeks come back with a bang, hasn't he? First game back after a nine-month injury, and he gets himself a goal. Fair play to you, Loftus, fair play to you. I can do it, I have done it. Lots of cheek. The man, the myth, the legend. Back playing, gets himself a goal. Happy about it. I like Lost of Cheek. Playing as a cam as well, he sometimes is good, sometimes he's not perfect, better as a centre mid. But today he's proved why he's good as a cam. No murking there. But if Rico Henry loses the ball here, we could be in. Like with a not bad save actually too. Fair, fair play. Got tall people back defending. So the first corner of the match for them. Looks like punch is clear, not a bad job. Salvador couldn't get there. Oh, hello. Chance. Grig, though. Not the fastest. Oh, that's a terrible pass. A tuning, though. Won it back. A tuning's in. Grig was getting in the way for some reason. What's wrong with him? A tuning battling all the way. Fair play, teammate. I don't know what Grig were doing then, though, getting in the way of the shot, basically. Luckily, didn't hit him. Turning her. Inside. Halter still going with that stamina. Fair play to him, he's not looking tired. Oh, couldn't get to Loftus Cheek. Try with Grig. Might get a corner. Get a throw in, though. I'll take a throw in. 1 0 Torsen, nice one. Sent me positive vibes. Yes, you did. Oh, they're bringing off Dickman. Halter, did you have a long shot on him? Might find it if we get a good position here. He has a good shot on him. Not goal, but close enough. Off the cheek, should have been that edit. Salvador. Saw Grig in a bit of space. That's a foul, Riff. You're not going to call that as a foul. Riff's had a shocker there. Rennett's trying his best. Somebody lost against Santimino in the air. Offside, yes he was. I'd rather have it be a goal kick. Or kick it out the keeper's hands. Not who I aim for, surprisingly. Very well. It's a 1-1 one, one draw. <laughs> Ten shots on target, only two went in. Right, let's get ready with these penalties. Right, I'm trying to learn penalties. I'm going to go top right. I'm actually going to go top right this time properly. That's not top right. Keeper fell over like a sack of shit though. Penalty for them. Where are you going, mate? Where are you going? Try and put you off the clock as best I can. Oh, he's done me. He's done me. Right, Salvador. I'm going to go to the left. Oh, that's a penalty. It's a penalty now. Nah. Distracting, mate. Distracting. Where are you going? Ooh. Ooh, clutch there. Thank you very much. Porter, straight down the middle. Ah. Fucking course he stays there. Where are you going, mate? You're doing a weird dodgy run up. Oh, Clark with a save as well. Hell to the store, dude. Unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to try a little dinky chip. Dink. Oh, he, again, he stay, every time I've gone in the middle, he stays there. As soon as I save one, they save one. Clark. Hero. 
Right, can I finish this off? Renich, top right corner. Oh, that's how you finish off the penalty shootout. That's how you finish off the penalty shootout. Three saves by Clark. You can tell where they go, though. That penalty's on this. You can absolutely tell where they go in. And Renich, potential future legend for us, gets the winning one. I thought I'd do a chip down the middle, and it didn't work out. But Clark, again, you can, you can see where they're going. When they, like, the first one, I completely thought it up. But after that, I can see where they're going. So we get a bit of prize money, lost his cheek in the end, helped us out. Salvador, I think, was captain, so we can lift something before he goes. We deserve that win. Saved the penalty by Blackman. Nice one. So not only have I saved penalties, you've saved penalties as well. Fair play to you. Well, both did 3 1 in the semis as well. Ugh. You can 100% tell where they're going on penalties. You can see by their eye movement, if they stutter the last minute, they're changing to the other side. Dead good. Right, Salvador has actually gone, so that was his final game for the club. £27 million in the prize pot. Plus 3.52, and the board's happy as well. And Alenia is concerned. He shouldn't be. <laughs> Tomahawk, the day has been made by Tim arriving in the stream. We've got no more Salvador, so at the moment I will cover. And I'm not too fussed about that. Salvador was a legend, though. Cameron Lee's transfer talks have broken down. That's a bit annoying. I think we have some other transfers going down, did we? Potentially. So maybe some other people might leave. I don't know. Interest shown in Indeed, fair enough. I didn't do the scouts. Oh, the scouts are still out, isn't they? The scouts are still out, I believe. And more training for these guys. 1-1, one, one, Zaha. Unlucky Ben. Wow, you both conceded at the same time. <laughs> you guys both conceded at the same time. That's insane. Right, transfers. I believe I have a bit of a budget. £100 million. Maybe I can now sign this guy. Got more money. So I can now potentially sign Pereira Silva. Between 87 and 134 million. If he still wants a left back, I would not be opposed as to getting rid of Kalasinac. But obviously I'm going to try a midfielder. Because I've got quite a few of them. Not Loftus Cheek, he's a, he's a G. Who else have I got? Not going to get rid of Niemann, I like him. Onimer's not bad. I'm, I'm going to try Dominic White. So I want a left back. Just wanted to check. So, Kalasinach. See, cost is only one overall lower, and he's five years younger. So I'm going to try... I know I've just got in Kalasinach, but for the sake of bringing in this dead good player, it's worth it. I'm going to add a sell-on clause of 10%. I'm going to propose a new transfer fee of... I'm going to try 90 million. That won't be too low where they say no. That's not bad. Plus we save ourselves a bit of money left over. £90 million pound plus class snatch. They want £118 million. I hate when they can't... They don't want to sell on clause either. They can't do negotiations on FIFA. It's ridiculous. Some people do, some people don't. And for some reason I've got a guy who won't negotiate. So £100 million pound then. I'm pretty much left with nothing after this. This is ridiculous, man. Fucking give me something. 105 million. I can't go any higher because then I lose all my wage budget and it's not worth it. So that's, that's, that's the max I'm going to go. You're going to fucking re reduce his price. I'm going to keep offering 105 million until you say yes. I am stuck in my ways. I mean, they're literally negotiating over 10 million pounds, basically. That's what they're doing. You're a fucking cunt. That's what you were. This what this guy, 107.5 then. I'm not going to get any more because I want to have money to do like something else. And that is like literally the most I can go. 107.5 million. You're the most awkward cunt in the world. I absolutely fucking hate you. I want you to die. That's all I'm saying. Ultra Clorox, Bre uh, wow. Ultra Clorox Bleach, welcome to the stream, dude. I could have got that guy in a pre-contract. That sucked dick. Uh, that was the worst fucking agent in the world. He was like saying, we want 118 million, 118 million. I said 105, he was like, no, I'm not doing 105. Then I say, oh, can you do 107.5? Oh yeah, that's fine. 
What a knob. What an utter knob. 1-2-1 one, one at full time. Nice one, dude. Nice one. Right, let's get this dick out of contract. I'm, I'm going to be cheeky and just do important. He won't crucial. Yeah, I'm not... You're 90 overall, mate. You were going to be crucial to me, but I wanted to see what I can do. Uh, five years. You're 22 years old. Give me that. No release clause, because, yeah... Oh, you don't let me know your wages. You're on 29 and a half. I'm going to try 50. 55, actually. Give him 55 and a signing bonus of 1.25. He's probably going to say no to this and I'll be called a cunt. That's a fair offer. That's a fair offer. Sweet. Boom. There we are. Been to the pool all the time. Nice one. Nice relaxing all day for you, dude. Sounds good. But, do you know what else sounds good? This guy. Cost us 107.5 million and Kalasnach, a guy I got on a pre-contract that I didn't really care about. Look at him. He's 22 years old. He has these stats. Ooh, it's filthy. Long passing he's working on, long shots as well, but that can all get trained, same as volleys. His goalkeeper bills is a bit shit. Can play as a left winger and a striker, so he's going to play as a left winger. Bad weak foot, but okay skill moves, so I'm not too bad about it. I don't really use skill moves. Six foot tall as well. He's a portrait, a speedster, a dribbler, an acrobat, and a complete forward. And at 90 overall, and a hundred million pound plus class in match, you should fucking be a good player as well. Stim match Grimsby, you won 1 0 against, uh, against Grimsby. Nice one, mate. Nice one. Summer Bay Resort. Sounds nice. Whew. New signing Pereira Silva. Ronaldo's regen. Then we do that all again next season when we try and buy Messi's regen, who I'm going to try and find right now. So let's find Messi's regen. A right winger who is going to be Argentinian. Right fucking winger. A right winger. Argentina. We stayed in Hard Rock. Hard Rock, nice. Uh, 22 years old or spot between 16 and 22. I'm playing. In the Liga BBVA. Oh, Santander is called it. That must be him. Augusto Leguzimon has potential to be special. Let's scout him. And hopefully that scout will come back before the Man United match. So I can see how good he would be. Actually, let's find out. 18 days. We've got 9... Now, we're not going to find out how good he'll be before the Man United match, but we might be before the start of the Premier League season. But a quick look at my, uh, yeah, my budget. Kind of been blown out the water here. And there you go, Tim. There's the profit margins for you. Back down to 14 million. Minus 14 million, that is. Yeah, player transfer, 107.5 million. Total spent this season, basically him. But it's going to make the wages a bit cheaper for Kalasnach. I think he cost a bit more. And he's going to sell a lot of shirts. Who's the best cheap goalkeeper? Youth players. If you want to bring in a good youth player, Bradley, go for, youth, go for like um, keepers. They're really good youth players, quality. Uh, also, I'm going to check out uh, board expectations. Uh, have at least one player from the Youth Academy signed in the first team play at least 50% of the games in the next season. That's not going to happen. Unless we get a really good player. Uh, game, shirt sales, that should be done easy. Uh, no financial goals, which is good. Win the title. Okay, they actually want me to win the Premier League now. And reach the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. And reach the semi-final of the Champions League. High expectations. Have I got any Deadwood players to sell? Uh, have I got any Deadwood players to sell or a financial takeover? I have Deadwood players to sell. The problem is selling them, and I've used all three financial takeovers at once because it didn't work, and the final one did work. Donnarumma, I could potentially go for, but I won't be able to afford him. I mean, Donnarumma is a good one. Unless, unless I'm talking to the other guy, in which case, fair enough. Jose and Nea, just going to put back on him. I'm actually going to check that out very quickly. Maybe 10 minutes left of the stream. Hopefully we can get some transfer offers in, because if not, I'd be very disappointed. And once the transfer window closes, we'll start looking at pre-contract signings, if we have any money. 
Miles Sabler is a good cheap keeper for you, Bradley. There you go. Tom Hawk with a suggestion. I'm going to turn up Renich and Turner to 70, Neiman to 80. I'm going to start giving my youth players a lot more chances. And hopefully get our youth sky report back on some youngsters. Do I play PUBG or Fortnite? No, I don't. I do play Fortnite single player every so often. But I don't play... I used to play PUBG with friends. PUBG is really good with friends. Fortnite on your own can be good. But I'm not a big fan of... Um, I'm not a big fan of a lot of uh, random stuff like Fortnite. Not a big fan of it. Not a big fan. You're about to play PSG versus SCMC in the journey. Good luck. Brian. Or Brian. Very good luck with that. Right, check out some Scottish players. David, David Mitchell, Christ. Um, so far, nothing good. Gordon Peterson's average. Douglas Hamilton might be alright. Jack McDonald's not. He's terrible, actually. Reese Mitchell's dropped off that bit too much for my liking. Same with Patrick McNeil. I'm only looking for the best of the best. I have a clerk could be okay, but I'm looking for better than that. Right, the Scout Network has ended, leaving the Scout Report with reject. Oh, right. So this is the end of the Scout Report. So I'm just going to back out and leave those guys. They're done. Fair enough. Alban Lafont is a good shout. Yeah, he's not super cheap, but he's a good shout. Journey is boring, Tim. I do agree with you, though. But doing it once, then finishing off. It's worth doing. Worth doing. Shao Gomez looks okay, but nothing fantastic. Alvarez is a no. There's no point, me, there's no point me rejecting players. They're going to get rejected anyway. I like that guy. Alessandro Branco is a no. I might... I'm going to give this guy a chance. Quincy Xiao, whatever his name is. And the rest of them I'm going to say no to. Even this Shao Gomez guy, who could be good, but... Not worth the risk. What's up, Owen Arrowsmith? Fantastic name, by the way. Stein Sanchez. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of people don't like the journey. I understand why, but at the same time, eh, it's something. Uh, Owen Arrowsmith, that's a great name. Please tell me your nickname is Arrowsmith, because be, I'll make my day. Um, that guy looks good, he's a keeper though. Same with Zajak. Nah, Zajak's actually not that good. 69 to 94. Mazza. I'm going to... Piotrowski, I'm going to give him one. That sounds wrong. And also Jacek Vachevsky. Or Vachevsky. And then I'm going to leave the rest. So I've got a pretty good youth system at the moment. Let's check our youth academy now though. So here is our youth academy. We've got a good keeper in there who could be good in the future. 6'6 six six as well. 6'2. Six Song Huang kind of dropped off a bit. Lance Moore's dropping off. This Vakorek guy looks good. As does Novak. Very good actually. Quincy Siao is a left back. Bruno Ferreira looks good. Hotero dropping off a bit. Jankovic not too bad. Piotrowski looks good. Mason Green, me. Zhang Su Shang, not bad. Grabowski, not bad either. And then we got Vlahovic and finally. Oh my god, yes. Kima Roof scores assisted by Luke Aylin. Nice one, man. It is. Your nickname is Earl Smith. I love you. Love Earl Smith. Right, um. Another good player here. Adamchuk. 88 to 94 potential. Man, again, too young though. 2-2, two, two, Torsen scores again. Nice one, dude. How to patch FIFA 12 and play World Cup? Not a clue. Well, I don't think you can, actually. Uh, I'm waiting for transfers to come in. Really am. But before I do that, I'm going to put my main man back in the team. Lost his cheek for Shibasaki. Pavelka's injured, so that's why he's not there. I'm going to sort out my bench. Actually, I'll do this off stream. I'll do it now. White 77 overall. He's kind of increasing a bit. Waiting for offers, really. Waiting for offers. I'm going to sort out the kit. Uh, what am I talking Michael Scott, what am I talking about? No idea. A lot of random stuff. Uh, if they put as much effort into Korean mode as they did the journey, it'd be. The number one mode on FIFA 19, but I heard they've highly upgraded it. Apparently, yeah. Apparently. But again, that's EA. My god, my stomach. If you can hear, like, random noises, that's my stomach. I'm hungry, but I'm not sure what to eat. There you go. Alioski scores another assisted by Luke Aylin. Luke Aylin, man. Luke Aylin is proven to be a bit of a G for you. You're in a Portville career mode. Hopefully, it all goes well for you. 
Uh, people who are new to the stream as well, I know the stream is going to an end pretty soon, but if you want to vote on my FIFA 19 career mode, vote for a team you like, a team you don't like, up to you. I'm doing your dad career mode. Killian Holland with the playground insults. Nice one. My god, my stomach is literally making the most random noises. I do apologise if you can hear that. Man, something wrong with me. Um, you play the FIFA 19 beta, only good thing is the League and Champions League. Better than nothing. That's all I'm going to say. Better than nothing. I say, I'm not going to be one of them guys who complains that nothing's changed with FIFA because at the end of the day, I enjoy playing it. I've put so many hours into FIFA 18 that it's worth the price tag. Don't vote for Swansea. No. <laughs> Tuxies, no. Um... Gil Diaz is frightening down the wing for Forrest. He will be. He will be very frightening. Avoid him if you can. Uh, right, I'm going to actually look at transfers. My aim might be to actually do a bit of a swap if I can. So at the moment, I don't really need any players. Obviously, it'd be good to have Donnarumma, but I can't afford £81 million. Uh, Luna's not a bad player, but they won't sell him. Christiansen, 89 overall now. Kimpembe. I, did, was, I was looking for a centre-back. So maybe if I get a bit more money in, I might get a centre-back. Late D'Souza will be the main target. Pepe's regen. My stomach, seriously. It's annoying me now. Tears has gone to PSG, so I'm going to get rid of him off the list. I'm going to get rid of Gerbo as well, actually. And Ben Davies. Boom. Ugh. Movement. The movement system is good. That's not bad. EA dropped the beta without some stuff for career mode. Yeah, they must have. They must have. There's no way they'll do the same thing for both. Indeed, he's gone to Dortmund. I'm not, I'm not going to get him anytime soon. Remove him from the list. musonda has gone to Man United. I'm not going to get him either. I want De Silva Lopez. I really do want De Silva Lopez, but the team won't sell him. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, I want to offer a player swap. Let me do it. My God, my stomach is making the noises that it shouldn't. I don't like it. Babacar is no longer out of contract, so I'll get rid of him from this list. Back to the top now. Interesting. Ronnie Lopez is a backup right midfielder. Might be not a bad show. Nice one again. 3 0 win. Not, not bad, man. Not bad. Yeah, I thought you was worried about Forrest, Zuxies. At the moment, you're dominating him. My laptop can't run FIFA 18, so I bought FIFA 17 crack because I can't afford money to buy FIFA 17 for my pocket money. No problem. Copied files, now, is, now there's an insulation error, what can I do? Restart it, try again. I can actually hear that. You can actually hear my stomach, Ben, honestly, it's insane. That's my stomach. Also, what's insane is this guy. Diego Linez, release clause at £3.7 million. Pound. Now, the problem is, if I do the release clause, I can't sell anybody. But for £3.7 million, pound, he's not the quickest of right midfielders. But he's got good ball control, good passing. It's a backup option. Now that Mass is leaving, potentially. Half time 9 0. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I'm waiting for the team's list to do a vote. My team's list? Oh, for your. Yeah, right, I get you. For FIFA 19, yeah. Because I'm doing mine in the Premier League for the first one, I'm okay doing the. Um, I'm okay doing what I'm doing. If that makes sense. Doesn't make sense, does it? Carry on. Right, so we've got Saren, Saren, Bazi, Promes, Winks. I would like to bring this guy in eventually. Goretzka's not a bad show. Cabernet Gil has actually gone to Alaves. Good youngster. Onyukuru, James McLean is retiring. That's a shame. Cavalero, maybe an option, but a bit older now. Rashford, apparently cheap. Rog, Mayer, Poden, so I said Rog. Mayer's not a bad release clause. My stomach, honestly. Rashika's got a really cheap release clause. For Dortmund. David Neres. Jack Harrison. Bale still playing. Going strong. Fair play to him. Odegaard. Now replaced Bale basically. Poulsen. Bergvist. Ebers. Regen. I might try and go for him actually. Lewandowski. Retiring at the end of the season. Tammy Abraham. Dean Murta. I might go for Bergvist. Might try and do a swap deal. Portsmouth. Small league again, or MLS, don't know yet. Nice one. By Lloyd Buckley. He has a sky high potential. I'll have a look at him in a second. Uh, player swap. Let's see if we can get... I'll show you a look at my players now. 
Chaplin I'm keeping, Solanke I'm keeping, Erbe I might get rid of. Actually, yeah, let's offer Erbe. They don't want a striker, they want a left winger. Okay then. Do I offer my only left winger at £83 million? Pound? No, I don't. I'll try a tra I'm not going to get a transfer fee for him, am I? No. Uh, I hope I can go for. I'm going to go for somebody that I can potentially. Wow, my leader. That release clause. Again, two people have got good release clauses, but I want to sell some people first. My stomach, honestly, is like twisting and turning. Um, looking for people whose value will be the same as Erbe, and there's not many. Maybe Erp? I might go for Erp, actually. Uh, player swap, strikers. Do you want Arbe? They don't want Arbe. Right back. Ooh, I've got Pavard. Pavard for Arp would be a good deal. Stomach, seriously. Honestly, I can't help it. I'm sorry, people. Pavard for Arp. And they want 21 million. Goodbye. But yeah, if you want to see the vote anyway, people, just in case you were curious about my FIFA 19 one. I know I posted it a few minutes ago, but there it is again. Uh, Woodburn, as a backup, his wage is well too much. I want to get my leader. I might just save up some money actually, try and sell some other players off. And then just go for people who have got a really good release clause, like Lanez, Zelenez. £20 million for Jordan Turner still. All the release clauses are there actually. Hmm. Blackpool, good name. Plus, I got a good kit, orange kit, Tim. Blackpool's kit is really nice. I'm not sending my scouts away again. I forgot. I'll send my scouts away at the start of September. Completely forgot about that. Newcastle accept bid for Alec Gorgon. Jorgen. Chaplin's happy now, which is good. No more transfer offers in, which is kind of ashamed about. Got a loan offer for Dominic White. I don't really want to loan out White. I want to sell him. I want to sell him. I wish you could go to a club and say, do you want to buy him instead? Cameron Lee won't leave. Uh, Dominic White. Reject it. I want to sell him. I want to sell him. That's a shame. Right, let's do... I forgot to edit the players, actually. I'm going to edit the players first. If you guys have any suggestions for transfers, let me know, and I'll try and sign them if possible. Look for this new left winger so I can edit his kit. Pereira Silva. Untuck that shit and let's change your boots, mate. What kind of boots do I give him? Ronaldo's regen. What kind of boots does Ronaldo wear? I actually don't know. Do I go for like a random colour? Do I go for like a blue to match the kit? I do like them. Maybe I go something more golden. Like that. Kind of match. I don't like the boot. I don't like them boots. Are you going to break your ankle if you turn too quick? Goal Hunter 1 0. Nice one. Nice one, O'Brien. I do like them ones, the Umbro Medusas, because they match the kit so... Actually, do you know what? Screw it. He's getting them. They match the kit too well. Kit fit, do I go tight? Nah, I go loose. Long sleeve shirt? Nah, short sleeve. Gloves, left rift? Nah, nothing on all that shit. I'm happy with that. I like his boots. Apply and exit. Full-time Forest, nil, th lead three. You were worrying about that match. You were worried you were going to lose, and you won it, so fair play to you. Fair play. Right, so before we get into the first competitive match, which I'm not going to play this out uh, of this stream, I'll do that tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to quickly sort out numbers of my players, give numbers to the new players. And uh, there's Renich, 18 for Renich, I think that's a bit of a weird number for him. I'm just going to give Renich number 4. Not release player, wow, I almost released him, idiot. Number 4 for Renich. Acero Branco suit 16, Hakimi suits 21. Lance Turner number 6, I think that's good for him. Jack Burns old number. Because he is technically the new Jack Burns in a way. Dan Burns in the 3, Clerks also 28, good, good, good. Fossey Mentz has got a good number. Bergeon Perez 43, not too fussed about. Tumanen 48, he is a backup. Uh, Niemann, he's going to play a few games, he needs a new number. I'm going to lowest. I'm gonna go lower down to possible. Lowest down, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, nothing's available. Maybe 13, unlucky I suppose. Maybe 18 does fit him actually. Actually not 18, screw it, give him 18. Neiman and 18. 
Shibasaki 25, they'll keep that for no. Grant, not forced about. Alenya 8, good. Horta, he might get a few games this season. Let's give him a bit of a better number. Lower down the skill. Is that 22? I think number 22. You got saved by Blackman about 10 times. Lucky dude. Cesar Montes, I'll look him up. Playing guys on there, I've signed Angel Gomez, Maitland Niles, Lafont, and Dika Dozzle. All the players that Everton have signed in real life. Nice one, dude. Nice one. Hopefully, you do well. 3 0 win, though. He's very impressive, though. For uh, you, Zuxus. Zuxus. A tune might play a few. Nice, no, I'm not sure about a tune him. Uh, Lofty Sheik 31. He's staying that number. My favourite number. He gets that. 41 for Onima. No chance. He needs a new number. Go back down the list. Right, so. They're all starting players to deserve the numbers. 14 on him. Uh, Bay's lost his number to him. Williams, not going to play that much. Mitchell, 39. I think he needs a new number. 23 for Mitchell. Fidel Preu, 17. Chapman, 19. Greg, 27. Uh, Bay, 32. Pereira, Silver, number 9. Fits perfectly. Look at the tank. Man looks like a tank as well. 2-0 Cavernian, nice, nice, nice. I'm going to look up with Cesar de Montes. Cesar de Montes. This is season 7, by the way, near people. Season 7. Get on a bit now. Get on a bit in this career mode. Still enjoying it, though. Still got challenges ahead. Cesar de Montes, centre-back. He's getting scouted. He is getting scouted. So that'll be potentially the end of the episode, I think. It's been three hours. Done the biggest bit of transfer business, which was signing Pereira Silva. Four two men who's now an 87 overall. Man's a bit of a legend. I think the only position I might improve now is centre-back. I do like Gomez, but I might just bring in somebody else to help out for Sumenza. Like a big name player. But after that, I'm pretty much sorted. We've got Ronaldo's regen, that's all that matters. Who else was retired? Joe Hurt was retiring, wasn't he? I didn't actually remember who retired. Didn't remember. So Joe Hurt, a young English keeper who plays in England. That's going to be very easy to find. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, Tim. So I'm just going to finish off by doing a quick little search for Joe Hurt's region. He was the only player I remember who was retiring. It's also Glick as well, Polish in the in the French league. So 21-year-old keeper who's playing in the Premier League. Might find one. No players found. All right. So Joe Hurt's a free agent then, maybe. Maybe 22 years old? Nope. Hmm. Interesting. I'll search for the free agents then. Free agent keeper. <clears throat> Alex Patchin. Could be Joe Hurt. Or it could be... It might be, it might be Patchin. I'll scout Patchin. Uh, I'll quickly check as well who is in the Premier League, actually. I didn't even see who got promoted and relegated. I didn't do the leagues from around the world. I usually do that. Yeah, well, doesn't really make a difference, to be honest. Uh, office, 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 office. You've got uh, you've got me. I want to do the table. Let's see who's in the Premier League. Let us see. See who got promoted, if I can remember. FA Cup, I don't care about. Stan Lenglet. Richelison score for you. Nice one. International Cup, Cup of Europe. Could have been us versus West Ham. West Ham won the Europa League then. West Ham won the Europa League. Fair play to them. I'll have a look at Lenglet in a second. I've gone the wrong way for the Premier League, aren't I? Right, so we've got Derby survived, obviously. Bournemouth, are they back in it? Were they there last season? Reading? Reading? Wow. So Swansea are still here. Sunderland are back. Reading are here. And who else? Watford? When we played Watford last season. Definitely Sunderland. Definitely Reading, no doubt about that. And is it Brighton? Might be Brighton. Could be. No, Brighton, we played Brighton last season. Might be Bournemouth. I don't know who got promoted. Bit of a shame. But I know who got relegated. Give me one second for that Langlet thing. I'm going to very quickly look in the Championship. Oh, yeah, by the way. For any Australian fans out there, you can see the all league. Melbourne victory win, I believe that's the end. Yeah, nine games, three games, yeah. Uh, Sydney FC second, Wellington Phoenix came last. Brazil, Chile, Colombia, no one cares about half of these leagues. 
Championship. So Burnley went down, I know that. Wolves went down, I know that. And Leicester. Leicester, Burnley, Wolves. All went down. Right, so let's try and find this Lenglet guy. We found Joe Hurts region. I can't remember who else was Tyrone. I didn't actually write him down. I might need to go back and do that. But like an idiot, I forgot. Clement Lenglet. I'll shortlist him. Seems pretty good. Would be a good choice to replace Gomez or just to cover for Gomez. Not a bad shout, not a bad shout at all. But yeah, we've um we've done bits in the transfer window. Bringing in the best player in the game, I believe, at the moment. In Pereira Silva. 90 overall. Or one of the best players, should I say. Yeah, next stream will be tomorrow. Half past 10 in the morning. We'll play against Man United. Potentially Bournemouth. Well, yeah. Man United, Bournemouth and Newcastle. Might play Stoke. And then do transfer deadline day. But I'm not sure yet. And then we've got the um, European qualifiers. To sort out. Soinko. Soinko. I'll search him very quickly. Adrian Peter. One. This is the last person I searched. I'm going to end the stream. It's been three hours and ten minutes. A long stream for me, and I'm really hungry at the moment. Soinko can't find him. Unless it's like Soniku. Nah. Soin. Yeah, I can't find him, man. Can't find him. Don't think he's in it. Where's Hyung Min Son, by the way? It's all the Spurs. Fair play to you. Fair play to you. But yeah, that'll be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'm going to go and find out who retired. I'm going to find the regens. So next, that means next episode you'll see a bit of uh, different stuff. If you want to join my Discord, you can find it when I stream the... There it is. Discord. So I couldn't find him. Peter. I was from Peter. Couldn't find him. If you want to join my Discord, the, if you want to vote... On my FIFA 19 career mode. I know I keep spamming that. But it is important to me. So that's why I'm doing it. He's a centre back. He wasn't there dude. He wasn't there mate. He wasn't there. Peter there's nothing I can do. He wasn't in the game. You won't be in tomorrow because you got physio. No problem dude. Physio is more important. Hopefully it all goes well for you. Hopefully the physio is not too bad. I've been for a bit of physio on my foot. Before. Left foot. Brought my toe when I was younger. And it was uh, very difficult to walk again. But after that, my knees were fucked. So, yeah. Hopefully, physio goes good for you. I know physio can be a pain. See you, Brian. He is the... He's not there, mate. I searched him and I couldn't find him. Unless you spelled his name wrong. There's nothing I can do. Remember, I started this career mode at the start of FIFA, 7, uh, FIFA 19. No one there. There's so young to you, if you remember him. But that's literally not at all what you spelled. See, they're like, there you shortlisted, there you go, happy. I'm not going to buy him anyway, but you do. He did say his name wrong, so it's very hard for me to find a player if I don't know his name. Think about that. But anyway. It's fine. That is the end of the stream. Okay, dude, I found him. You spelt his name wrong, but I found him. It's fine, remember. Remember I said about the thing, though? Mention him once. If I can't find him, let me know once again. Don't have to spam in chat. Don't have to spam in chat. If you keep spamming, I might eventually time you out. Just in the future, that's what I'm saying. It's fine for now, but just saying. Just for the future, remember. Only say it once, I'll get it. But anyway, that is it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all again tomorrow. If you can make it, it'd be awesome. If you can't, no problems, no worries. I'll be doing it anyway. And uh, yes. You got CP, damn dude. Hopefully it all goes well for you, Ben. And hopefully when you, you guys who are playing all your career modes and stuff are doing well, hopefully you win all your matches and hopefully nothing's too bad about it. Hopefully sign your players you want and do well on the journey for O'Brien. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Goodbye.